I promise. I promise. Uh, let's do the call mission to start off with. Because um, I still need to do that for the week. That's not where, I, not where I wanted to go. Here's where I wanted to go. This is my second call mission ever, so I've never done this one before. We'll have to see how it goes. If I'm a vampire, who's my Belmont? Do they have a stream too? It'd be hilarious to see banter between a vampire and a hunter. Dude, Masky, you tell me. Like, I would love kind of like a good friend who plays a vampire who hunter or something. That would be such a good dynamic. But I don't have one right now. I know Kane. Kane is... Like, Kane's a monster hunter, a generic monster hunter, but I don't know him super well. And Ken's, welcome back to stream. How's it going? Hope you're doing well today. Try Sonic Frontiers. Maybe I should change the Play Minecraft 1 billion channel point reward to play Sonic. Because, oh my god, why does everybody ask me to play Sonic? I've never played a Sonic game before. Masky, this mission isn't as hard as before, and don't forget that I can save my brothers. That's right. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Somebody who's painfully oblivious to their best friend being a vampire, or who knows and doesn't care because I'm just that cute anyways. That's what I'm really here for, honestly. What's up here? The, um... Yeah, god, I... I mean, this is something I, uh... This is something I've just wanted for a long time. Like, those of you who have been around stream before... Wait, what is this thing? Oh. I just have to smash him. Oh, shit. Uh... I don't remember how to get away from this thing. Uh, I'm just gonna run. I should have meleeed that instead of... Yeah, okay, that was stupid, but it's okay. It's okay. Wait, no, it's not okay. Why are you still shooting at me? Get away from me! <laughs> um, those of you who have been around stream for long enough definitely know that um, one of the things that I've wanted for a really long time is just more pe more like really close friends who stream, and who don't stream for that matter, but also who stream that I can have like good banter with and everything on stream and all of that jazz um but uh <clears throat> i'm not a very i'm not a very likable person <laughs> for some reason cosmic you just finished nine hours of final fantasy 14 hot damn that's a lot of 14 did you have fun and ken's a friend of yours just broke up with uh their partner and thought turns out you have more empathy uh, then you remembered, then you thought, but you're not too sure how to show support. I'm sorry to hear that. That's breaking up with people's always just so hard. I don't remember how to use the veil breaker, unfortunately. Well, I killed my brother. I don't remember how to use the veil breaker. Oh well. Oopsie. Can I interact with this? No, I can't. Hmm. Oh, it's four. Thank you. Thank you, Cosmic. The abilities like my grenades. Ah, I see. I see. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Oh, here's like a dude. Okay. The, um, Yura and I were actually playing uh, Apex Legends until about 2 a.m. last night. Neither of us were streaming it, but she hit me up. She was like, hey, do you want to play Get Back Into Apex with me? And I was like, fuck yeah. So that was a fun time. Do I have to be on this side? Yeah. There we go. All right. And in we go. Is this... Yeah, this is open. Up oh, it's an ogress. That's what it is. I see. Um, okay. This will work. That one's moving. We can kill this thing. Yippee! 
And now I have something. I'm not sure what that just put on my back, but it's something. Mm. It's on my three for Veilbreaker. Got it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, it's a jetpack. Oh, that's what it is. Awesome. Thank you. I really appreciate your help, guys. So, I honestly like the call missions. I'm going to be real. I'm going to go against the grain here and say I actually enjoy the call missions. But, eh, whatever. Oh, hello. That's an enemy. Goodbye. Ugh. Oh, jeez. Die. Thank you. You kind of enjoy the call missions, too. They're fun, right? I think they're fun. I mean, I could imagine myself getting sick of them after doing them for, like, weeks and weeks on end, but I haven't done them for weeks and weeks on end yet, so I think they're enjoyable. Bird brain hand holding? What, are you saying you want to hold my hand, you degenerate? Is that what you're saying, bird brain? Are you admitting it? Rice Hat, you like the uh, call missions, but you don't do them regularly anymore. That's fair. I respect that. I think that makes a lot of sense, honestly. When did I first become a streamer? Uh, I first became a streamer about a year ago. Um, yeah, about a year ago. A uh, little, little bit more than a year ago at this point. But it's been a really fun journey. I've been... I love streaming. I really do. It, it is one of the things that is just the most enjoyable thing in the world for me. It's so much fun. Um, I only started streaming Warframe back in August. I actually tried it for the first time on stream and it, man, that was fun. Oh, wait, that's an ally. I should veil break you. You're not an ally though. Yeah, yeah, under fire. I get it. Oh, there's a cooldown. There's a cooldown on the Veil Breaker. Uh-oh. Masky, you need to uh, get off your butt and start making VTuber trading cards. Hello? That'd be cool. That'd be really cool, actually. That's a fun idea. Jane, welcome back to stream. And NP, thank you for the care package. Everyone, please take a sip of whatever you're drinking and sit up straight, too. How good am I with horror games? Terrible. I am so bad with horror. It's the reason that I don't play them on stream. Um, horror games give me such bad nightmares. Oh, come on. Next live is a horror game? No, no. If we if we do end up doing a subathon, then I am going to... Uh, if we do end up doing a subathon... Then I'm gonna do a horror game as a reward, but yeah. Wow, there are a lot of captured brothers here on this mission. Jesus. You remember when I first started Warframe and greeted everyone by saying, Hi, my name is Ileana and this is my numbered week playing Warframe? I only did that for four weeks, which is exactly how long I said I would. That's how long I normally introduce myself uh, that way for new games. NP, I'm not really taking game suggestions right now. Not Sonic Frontier, it's not Bendy the Ink Machine, I'm sorry to say. Alright, so. Can we kill this thing? There we go. I think I like the Ogress a little bit more than the Tonkor. I've never really used either weapon before, though. Our mods, you got Garuda in the oven. Nice. Very fun. Very fun. Garuda's so cool. I love her. I don't play her often enough, though. But she is such a fun frame. Alrighty. Jesus, I have an army. I know, right? That's what I'm saying. I've got, like, five guys with me. It's incredible. I wish I had five guys with me in real life. Thump, 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 thump. Brother, Here we go. Six guys now. Killing time. 
Her brain, you just noticed the play Minecraft between the eye, but you did. Right now your mainframe is Hildren Prime, Immortal Shield Mommy. We love Immortal Shield Mommy. Yeah, Vampire Girl gathers six guys live on stream. It's true. It's so true. Um, hold on, I have to figure out what the right code is. Oh wait, hold on, I'm gonna need to look at it from the other side, huh? Thank you for the week-long watch streak, Bird Brain. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Okay, so I think it's gonna be that. And then this. Yep, cool. Oh my gosh, you guys are so sweet to me. Coming by week after week and everything. No, NP, I've never played Call of Duty. That's not actually entirely true. I sometimes played with my brother when we were growing up, but that's it. And I don't still play Call of Duty. I've also tried uh, Warzone. I forgot about that. I tried Warzone for a little while. It was probably my second favorite BR after uh, after PUBG. But I don't know. I just still didn't like it as much as PUBG. So I didn't stick with it or anything. You love being an annoying mosquito. That's what people usually call me when they don't like me. We are... Two peas in a pod there, Cosmic Despair. Huh? Alright, smash open the thumper. Uh-oh. Worm thumper. Worm thumper. Uh-oh. It's alive now. That behind armor. Okay. How do we do this then? Let's find out. I am learning so much from hmm. Flies around, sucks blood, that checks out. I do like sucking blood, that's true. But I'm not a mosquito. I'm a vampire, I'm elegant, I am refined, shall we say. Isn't that right, chat? Isn't that right? Answer wisely now. <laughs> Vampires are just mosquitoes with extra steps. Hey, that's mean. That's so mean. I'd be a mosquito if I did all that and was a lawyer. Why lawyer? Hey, I'm so elegant, Vice Hat. What are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? Honestly, the nerve of some of you. The nerve. Yeah, I know. So where's the where's the control panel though? And Lucky Gust, Call of Duty is going well, thank you. How are you doing? Call learning so much from you. Use ramparts to remove invulnerability. Alright, sounds good. Oh, wait, did I just waste my shot on that? Uh oh. Hold on. It's probably just recharging or something. There's another rampart over here. Lucky guess you decided to finish Monhon World. I love World. I hope you've been enjoying it. I really hope you've been enjoying it. Call, finish job. Let's do this, Call. Oh wait, it doesn't take any fire damage, so I can't grenade it. Whoopsie. Good boom, brother! Good boom! God, Call is like my favorite character in this game, hands down. There's just absolutely no question about that, honestly. I got a kneecap at like an old person. How are you treating old people, Rice Hat? Jeez. I'm playing into the dumb grenier stereotype. I mean, if you met me, I basically am a dumb grenier IRL. Are you gonna come over here? There you go. There you go. Nightshade, Palumu, and Barry off for a pain. Other than that, world is going nicely. Very nice. Glaive is so much fun. It's like my one of my favorite weapons. Out. Out. 
Stop it. I wish I had Prime Sure Footed on call. <laughs> My goodness. Call finish you. Big boom, brother. Big boom. I love how my army is shooting, like, everything except, uh, the boss. I feel like, my, I feel like a raid leader in WoW again. Like, guys, focus the fucking, uh, boss, not the ads. You know what the, sh the sh sad thing about Insect Glaive and Monster Hunter is, um, it actually is better to play Ground Glaive, at least in World. It's more DPS to play Ground Glaive, but... Aerial Glaive is just so much more fun. I play Aerial Glaive because it's just so much more fun. Okay, it's not coming over here. Oh, now it comes over here. Now it fucking comes over here. Okay, I see you. Jerk. And I hit the fucking... God damn it. Fun takes priority over meta. Absolutely true. I completely agree about that. This thumper is annoying me. This thumper is really annoying me. Let's finish it off. I wonder if my brothers are going to do, like, literally anything. Doesn't look like it so far. They're just following me. Oh, I didn't order them to attack it. Duh. I forgot I had to do that. Now they're all shooting at it. Cool. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Mission accomplished. Hey, Balthros! It's been a minute. Welcome back to stream. How are you doing today, my friend? Warframe is going well for us so far. We just finished up our weekly call mission. And... Uh... Now, we are going to be doing some Eidolon hunting, assuming it's night. And if it's daytime, then we'll do something else until it's nighttime. My squad are like those employees that won't do anything unless a manager or supervisor gives them a very explicit task. Yeah, true. That's me and that's just me, IRL, though. And Balthus, you're doing your taxes. Oh no, not the taxes. Not the taxes. I'm sorry to hear that for you. Hopefully you don't too more do too much. Or like oh too much, I mean. You personally sell your kidney for arcanes? I respect that actually. I super respect that. Hey, Rusted Paladin, thank you for the uh for the raid and raiders, welcome. My name is Ileana. I am your cozy vampire, and I am currently uh, playing some Warframe. It's nice to have you all here. And for those of you that don't already know Rusted, please go check them out at the top of the chat box. They are playing Helldivers. Each day, more brothers freed. Each day, call family grow stronger. I think we want to give him this goofy little helmet. Oh, wait, these are just we unlock them all. <laughs> okay, now I can actually buy the things I needed, which were... Archon Intensify and Archon Stretch. Get to work. We did it. Nice. Why do I have 100,000 Platinum? I actually ended up winning 100,000 Platinum at uh, uh, TwitchCon. I was really, really lucky. Yep. You owe $3 for your medical insurance because you made slightly more this year. Oh no, Balthros. <laughs> And you were awful late today, so you were able to share with me some of your community. Thank you. It's really appreciated, Rustin. I hope you're doing fantastic, and I hope you had a great stream. If you're taking off, then have a great rest of your day. And if you're not, then welcome on in. Wait. No. It's just the corpus peddling. All right, so we are going to check what time it is. Night's not for 53 minutes, so we have to farm something else for right now, actually. Um... Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to, uh, I need to farm Zeramin. So let's, 
let's get some, let's get the queue rolling. If you want to join, please feel free to just type exclamation point join in the chat box. And then it will be time for us to go ahead and do some Zeraman missions. So let me just do... I'll pin that up right there. And perfect. You'll hop on for some, why not? Hell yeah. Thank you, Cosmic. It'll be fun to play with you. I also I need to do bounties for Zaram. And in addition to just getting standing with them, I need to do bounties. So let's do that. Can you remind me what your name is, Cosmic? Um, in, in Warframe, at least. Yeah, we'll do Zerum and Bounties, and then we'll do, uh, we'll also do ESO. Toxic Hurricane, that's right. Toxic Hurricane. No player online. Just let me know when you get on, and I'll invite you. Oh, man. So, the, uh... A lot of whether or not I do the subathon... Kind of depends a little bit on whether or not I both get and accept this job, you know? We'll find out. We'll see. But I gotta pay those medical bills somehow, that's for sure. <laughs> Unfortunately. All right. And let's get Joey in here, too. Perfect. Here we go. We could also do some circuit at some point. Balfour's, I actually left the teaching job. It just wasn't working out. It was, the schedule was ruining my life and that's not an exaggeration. Um, so I have, I have left the teaching job at this point. Um, oh, there's Thermia Fractures. I actually need to do Thermia Fractures still. I haven't done them. Yeah, let's do Zeraman. Let's go accept some bounties and then head on in. Bummer, Balthurst. I know, I know. It's a shame because I actually really liked the job itself and I was doing really well at it too. I just, uh... I just, like, the schedule was ruining me and it was really harming my mental health very badly. So, I had to call it quits, unfortunately. Moist Machine, what if we held hands on Deimos? No, no, Plains of Eidolon only. Sorry. Back in the day, Working at a school does take its toll. I need to incarnate in my Torrid now. Your body wakes up at 5 a.m. on its own every day, even on weekends. Yeah, dude, it's rough. It's rough, it's rough. Evolve and Karn and weapons. Alright, here we go. Alright, we've gotten in Karn and Torrid now. What are these evolution things? Oh, do I get to pick how it upgrades? Oh, that's really cool. That's really, really cool. Can you change them later? Or do I have to make sure I pick the right thing? Hopefully you can change them later. You can change them later. Awesome. Cool. That's good to know. All right. So. Let us go ahead and check the bounties too. Where's my standing at, actually? Oh, we're almost ready to level up. Awaken a Void Angel and defeat it. On Exterminate? That's easy. Let's do it. You don't even need to talk to Cavalero to change your Incarnate evolution anymore. Nice. That's good. That's really good. All right, wake and banish. Here we go. Um, we just need to complete four bounties here, and then I think we'll be good to go. 
All right, let's see how this thing ends up firing. Wait, I thought it was supposed to be a beam weapon once it, uh... I thought it was supposed to be a beam weapon once we had, uh... The Incarnate. Do I have to do it in some sort of special way? Hmm. Oh, it starts as a launcher and then turns into a beam weapon? What makes it turn into a beam weapon? Oh, you have to charge the middle bar. Oh! Get my alt fire once the gauge is full. I see. Oh, that's really neat. And then I assume I can use it in the incarnate form until the beam, until the bar goes away. And then I have to recharge it. That's cool. That's really cool. Milo, welcome on into stream. My name's Liliana, and I am so happy that you're proud of me. That's very sweet of you. <laughs> um, I'm your cozy vampire, and we're playing some Warframe today. Welcome in. Yeah, this thing could be really good once it actually has mods on it, but obviously right now, not the best. Nifty, though. I like it. Oh, I don't have to get a full charge to transform it, but it lasts longer if it is fully charged. That makes sense. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Well, actually, I need to do a... I actually have a mission, a Nightwave mission, to transform it, so we may as well do that. A couple times. Lament! Welcome back to stream! How are you? I'm so glad you're here. It's very nice to see you. The burst in Incarnate is nuts. I've heard that, yeah. I have heard that. I got you, Joey. I got you. What am I up to today? We're first of all testing the Horrid Incarnate. But, uh, oopsie, and leveling Falbon at the same time. But we are also going to be doing Eidolons once we have, uh, once it's nighttime on the plains of Eidolon. Right now we're just doing Zeraman Bounties, though. You're just testing weapons and frames in the simulacrum. Nice, Milo. Very nice. What weapons are you testing right now? It takes an interestingly long time to transform it. Huh. All right, here comes the Void Angel. I'm going to switch my actual pistol. What are you up to today, Lament Material? All right, let's wake up this Void Angel. Here it is. All right. The angel is trying to retreat into the void so it can heal. Follow it and stop. And fall edge. Reload speed effects uh, affect how fast the transformation happens. Oh, okay. That's cool. That's really good to know, Ice Hat. Thank you. And Lament, you're just chilling. You just finished helping people out in Warframe. That's nice of you. I hope you enjoy your chill. And thank you for chilling with me. You're testing your Gotha Prime and your Mirage Frame for Steel Path. Nice. I still haven't really done very much Steel Path. I'm going to start on it at some point. But I haven't reached that point yet, I don't think. Also, my resource booster is expired now. I need to buy another one. Burden, welcome back to stream. How are you? I hope you're fantastic today. Also, Cosmic, I totally forgot to roar for you. Run! Sorry, didn't mean to scare you. Oh, man. So, uh, Ragna, you live in Steel Path. Uncle Teshin needs his Steel Essence and he needs your Kuva fix. I'm gonna go to Steel Path and probably live there once I'm actually... Like, once I actually have builds that are ready for Steel Path, if that makes sense. I don't feel like I have that yet. 
I mean, we could just do the same one over and over again. I don't really see a reason not to do the same mission over and over. Oh, you got hate kiddoed. Oh no. Chains of Hero scared the shit out of me. And the first time I got hate kiddoed, freaked me out. Oh man. And Burden, you got out of work early today. That's always nice. Sanity, welcome back to stream. How's it going? I hope you're fantastic. Yeah, Sanity, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's no reason to not just spam this bounty. The rank five is Halako, yeah. It's the best bounty to blitz. Mm-hmm. I'm just, uh, I'm just very, very, very bad with, uh, horror. Horror scare scares the shit out of me, you guys. It really does. So, uh, Chains of Harrow. I mean, it wasn't the worst thing in the world, but it really was no exception, unfortunately. Alright. Oh shit, I shouldn't be playing. I really shouldn't be playing an unleveled frame right now, but uh, meh. That's okay. Alrighty. And Trotty Lanthorn. Oh, look at that. We love to see it. Oh, you can just hold down the beam. I don't know why I didn't think that, but yeah, that makes sense. What's my personal favorite frame to play? Uh, personal favorite frame is, uh, Wisp or Dagath? One of the two. I'm not sure which one I like more. Do I hope it's the next prime? Uh, good question. I know it's not gonna be, but I wish it were Dagath. Because, like I said, Wisp and Dagath are my two favorite frames, and Wisp already has a prime. Obviously, Dagath prime won't be for, like, years, but a girl can dream, right? A girl can dream. Alright, let's get this Nightwave mission done. Nice. Well done. Uh, oh, 116 HP in a dream. Holy shit. Let me get you up. Wait, no. Wrong button. Fuck. Okay, there we go. <laughs> you're gonna be- you're 60% sure the next frame is gonna be Protea. And yeah, I love Garuda Sanity. I don't have a good build for Garuda, but once I do... Oh man, I think I'm gonna love her. I could gold up my Dagath and call it Prime. I've actually pretty much done that, yeah. That's basically what I've done. Dagath is just fun. I like her. I really like her. Alright, looks like the Void Angel's up here, so I'm gonna go wake it up. Ow. Alright, here we go. You use your Avara most of the time, but you play with a couple others. Sometimes that's fun. Avara is the frame you get from Spy, right? I think. I'm pretty sure. I don't know what the hell Valbon's abilities do. I should probably read them at some point. <laughs> that might be good. She's the sneaky jellyfish. Dude, jellyfish are awesome. I love jellyfish. Jellyfish, octopi, or octopuses rather. They're all just so cool. Sea creatures are beautiful. I actually discovered a uh, another VTuber who recently started playing Monster Hunter um, named Moral. Uh, she's a blue ringed octopus, which I think is pretty rad, honestly. Whoopsie, I fell. If you fall, it kicks you out. I didn't realize that. Huh? Because you have to void sling through those orbs, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And there we go. Nice job. Yeah, you do have to void sling through the orbs. Got it, got it. Good to know. Yeah, let's crank out two more of these and then we can be done with Zeremon for the day. 
Um, one thing I've been thinking a lot about is uh, I I have something that I want to confess to all of you. Unless unless I do an uncapped subathon, I think I kind of want to become a, a two game streamer. Like pick two games and just stick with them to satisfaction, not jump around a bunch like I do right now. So one of those games is going to be Warframe. Just just throwing that out there already. One of those games is going to be Warframe. The other game is harder. The other game I'm not sure about. And it's a real tough decision. Yeah, no, we can absolutely uh we can absolutely uh get you in here, Ragna. Um, just give me your username and I'll invite you. And if you could type exclamation point join in the chat so I can keep the queue straight, that would be awesome too. Frey Frey, welcome back to stream. How's it going, my friend? The um Still not used to choices include for the other Choices include for the other game. World of Warcraft, Last Epoch, Retail World of Warcraft to be precise, Last Epoch, Magic the Gathering Arena. And other than that, I'm not really sure. I think those are really the three choices that I'm trying to make here. I'm curious if chat has a specific like, oh my gosh, it should definitely be this one. Um, I'm probably going to ask this to Discord as well, for what it's worth. But, and do some thinking on my own as well. But yeah, I'm curious. Frey Frey, you still have your sleep fixed, but so far sleep has been pretty good. Good, I'm glad. I'm sorry, your sleep still needs to get fixed though, love. Has Alice been keeping you up late? Should I, do I need to go flick her forehead? Her subathon was so good. I'm so happy for her. Two years is a huge accomplishment. You can tell her I said that, by the way. You can tell her I'm going to flick her forehead for you. All right. So actually, I'm going to put up a poll just so people who don't feel like typing in chat can still make their voices heard here, too. Um. Oh, righty. Very happy and had fun. Mm-hmm. No, not necessarily game recommendations, Balthros. More like a preference between, uh... More like a preference for... Of the options for game number two that I'm going to commit to. Um... The ones I, I mentioned are the ones that are really on my mind as thoughts, so... Yeah, just curious what people think. Essentially. Well, Sanity, you, lo you love Garuda's lore? It goes like this. Ticker found her in a mushroom patch, that's it. I love that so much. I didn't know that, but I love that. My amp is so bad that I'm actually going to stay outside and just finish up the extermination mission. Oh, now it's done actually, so may as well get in. Oopsie. Ouch. Alright, let's do a pull really fast. Uh, retail. World of Warcraft. Arena. Uh, last epoch. All right, go ahead. Cast your vote. This is only, again, this is only your preference. This is not, uh, this is not by any means, uh, an ex, uh, a commitment on my part. This is only like getting the pulse of chat here. If I'm going to commit to playing only two games, uh, as a regular thing on stream, what one of them being Warframe. What's the second one? What, should, what What do you think about the second one? 
And Nixie, Last Epoch is the most readable of those for you. You feel like watching Magic the Gathering and WoW would to some degree require you to learn them. That's, that's true. That is very true. I respect that, actually. And then there's also the possibility that it's just going to be none of these three as well. One other thought that's floating around in my head is like, well, maybe I do, maybe I do like, uh, story games. The problem with story games, though, is like, I think story games are hard to stream because if you stream a story game and somebody like misses a stream, then it's really hard for them to pick back up and follow along if they haven't already played the game themselves, you know? That's why I don't love streaming story heavy games personally. No quarter. Just my take, but I do want to finish like near Automata at some point. I've been thinking about playing Red Dead, but yeah, I don't know. Lupus, thank you for the care package and the head pads. Everyone, please take a sip of whatever you're drinking and make sure you sit up straight too. Hmm. Another thought is fighting. Actually, I should redo the poll afterwards because I also just thought about fighting games being on there as well. <laughs> Honestly. Because I think I'm I think I'm unburned out enough on fighting games that I can absolutely um throw fighting games back on this list. Um, bird brain squats. Uh oh, got a squat. Oh, 50 of them. Here we go. This is gonna be suffering. I gotta get that butt for bird brain, apparently. The absolute D gen. I don't like Tekken. I'm gonna be real. I don't like Tekken. I wanted to like it. Five, but I didn't. Oh man, squats are already burning. Ten, I haven't done them recently enough. Fifteen. Twenty. Kenyos, thank you so much for the sixteen months. Oh my goodness, twenty-five. I really appreciate that, my friend. Thirty. Thirty-five. Forty. Forty-five. Oh man, fifty. Oh, my thighs hurt so bad. Plundering Oof. Bastards have come aboard without permission. You guys are making me so smelly today. First you make me do a hundred jumping jacks. Then you make me do fifty squats. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you people? Can't believe you've done this. Stinky on a reel. Burning thighs today means sculpted legs tomorrow. That's true. Oh man, I'm breathing so heavy again. Sorry. I swear it's not because you're cute, chat. It's just because I just did a bunch of squats. The, um... I didn't... I wasn't able to do 50 when I started either. Uh, sanity. Um, we started with, uh... I started only doing 10, and then we worked up to 25, and then I worked up to 50. I've always had a pretty nice butt, honestly, so, like, squats weren't the most painful thing in the world to start out with. That, that honor goes to, uh, that honor honestly goes to, uh, crunches were, like, sit-ups were really hard to start out with. You're going to say you don't exercise just because you want to be soft, not sculpted. Hey, being soft has nothing to do with how sculpted you are. I've done 100 squats once before for charity. On a charity stream, I did do 100 straight squats. That was like some of the most pain I've ever been in from exercising, though. It was very unpleasant. But I've also gotten stronger since then, so... 
maybe I could do them now. I'm not sure. I bet I could probably do them now, actually. Who knows, though? Do you go for Wisp or Cora Prime first? Definitely Wisp. She's better. And don't get me wrong, Cora is fine, but I like Wisp. I really like Wisp, obviously. She's like my favorite frame. Come on. Come on. There we go. Yeah, Wisp is support Korra's loot frame. That's true. And Meepu, welcome back to stream. It's been a minute. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing very, very well. Oh man, you already have Necros for loot frame. Maybe go for maybe go for Wisp then. I would say Wisp. Here we are. Here's the way out. Wait. No? Okay, that's not the way out. Hold on. <laughs> Oopsie. Wisp would round out your selection more. Is that because of certain round things that she has? Is that what you're saying, Armands? Because you'd be right. You'd definitely be right. Uh, here's the teleporter. Took me a second. Sorry, y'all. Cora isn't just for looting. She's actually one of the highest DPS frames. Really? Huh. I'm surprised by that, actually. Hey, O'Reilly, welcome back to stream. Hello, and how goes the War of the Frames? It's going okay, thank you. I hope you're doing well. The thing that I worry about with Last Epoch being like a mainstay game for me is that uh, I do actually worry tremendously that it's not going to have enough staying power for me to really stick with it for a long period of time. That's okay, though. Hold on, I want to see the Night Wave. Why didn't I get the reward for that? Flash and oh, different bounties. I have to complete different bounties on the Zeraman. Oopsie. Well, let's do three different ones, then. Now I feel kind of stupid, actually. Oh, well. I, I don't want to do Void Flood, so we'll do the other three. Trusting you'll get it done. Sorry about that, you all. I screwed up. Also, Riley, you're good. Last night you finished Subnautica. I've heard really good things about that game. But I've also heard it's very, very scary, so I don't know. Scary, scary Subnautica. You know how it goes. I'm not even afraid of water, and I've, like, I've, I was talking with to someone who's not even afraid of, like, deep water or anything, and he still told me it was super scary. Oh, right. Ooh, Doom Eternal just went on sale for $10. That's nice. That's really good to hear, actually. Meepu, you often just do Wake and Banish Exterminates for the stuff you need in Zeraman. Yeah, that's that's understandable, honestly. Yeah, I mean, O'Reilly, that does kind of sound scary, though, if I'm being real. I honestly kind of forget how this mission type works, Void Cascade. But, oh well, it's fine. Void contamination dropping. So what is this bounty? Use five exilizers while keeping meter below 50%. I'm not really sure how that works because I don't really know how Void Flood works. Oopsie. I'll figure it out though, where other people do it. One of the two. Purge it and make it work for us. What did I just pick up? I'm not actually sure. Did I pick up the thing for uh might have been for this? Well Oh shoot. No, dang it. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna i I'm just gonna respawn. Let me get back to the group, because I'm playing a, an unleveled frame here. Joshua, welcome back to stream! How are you? 
release of a possessed exolizer. Purge it before it pumps out even more. I hope you're doing super, super good. O'Reilly, that doesn't really mean much to me because I don't play Minecraft. I'm sorry to say. You can make me play Minecraft for the low, low price of one billion channel points. Arcane, it's not in the plans, but we ha we need to wait for it to be night on the plains of Eidolon. It's not night for like another th 20 to 30 minutes. So. And no, I haven't tried Helldivers 2, but I don't have much interest in Helldivers 2, if I'm being honest. It just doesn't thrill me as a game. It doesn't seem super interesting to me. Exolizer suppressed. Purge it before it makes the contamination worse. Exolizer Look. spent. Look. Alright. NP, you'll see me later? Sounds good. We'll see you later. Thanks for dropping by, NP. Hope you're doing well today. It just... I know that Helldivers is like a really good game, like well-made game and everything, Helldivers 2. It just doesn't seem like my kind of thing, if I'm being honest. Because it seems like a game that thrives on silliness, and if I'm being honest, I'm not that silly. Or rather, I am silly, but I'm not funny. Does that make sense? We're down an exolizer. Working on back I'm not especially funny as a person, so... <laughs> I don't know if it would actually work for me as like a stream game. Oh, come on. Not interested in democracy? Sounds treasonous. I'm such a traitor. You know it. You know it, Sanity. What are you going to do about it, huh? You going to kiss me or something? Baka. All right. So there's a possessed exolizer over here. Enemy has abandoned valuable supplies. This is yours now. Oh, we're done. We're cool. Exolizer. There we go. Nice balance. job, team. Cosmic, you'll kiss me. You're volunteering. Eight. Hope you know what you're signing up for. I'll bite you. Drain you dry. Was a dormant void angel. Now it's not dormant anymore. Void All right. Critical. Do these invaders have any idea what demons they have invoked? Let's go ahead and extract and then we can do the level two bounty i think <laughs> what a glorious way to die yeah i'm sure you think so oh, somebody found the angel uh oh i'm not even gonna be there in time i don't think you don't think it's necessarily a funny game it's just sometimes funny because stuff can happen oh okay Interesting. I've always, like, the only clips I've seen of it and stuff have been, like, funny stuff. I guess that's true for most games, though. In fairness. Cascade is approaching critical levels. Your time is running out. So it's not really saying much, because mostly you just see funny game, funny clips of every game. You recommend it because it is one of the uh, funniest, or the best enemy AI out there. Making, uh... Making it feel like a true conquest. Interesting. Okay. I respect that for sure. It just doesn't seem like my kind of game. But I respect how well it was made and everything. Hey Zephyr, welcome on into stream for the first time. My name's Liliana. I am your cozy vampire, and I mean I mean Wisp and Dagath. Uh, but I really like Zephyr and Garuda as well. I know that probably makes you happy considering your name. <laughs> How's your day going? It's nice to meet you. I'm just leveling Valbon right now because I just recently picked him up from the Nightwave shop. Destabilizing the Zeramid is a foolhardy strategy. Oh, right. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> where did you come from? <laughs> you did well Weird. Stop All right, here we are. Let's go get another bounty here. Oh, I can just take that teleporter to the bounty's person, can I? I always forget about that for some reason. Not that it's a super long walk anyway, but still. Alright, so we've already done Void Cascade. We need to do Mobile Defense and Void Armageddon. There we go. 
Let me just make sure that actually counted for Nightwave. Yes, it did. It did. Cool. And then the the week or the night rolls over in I think 34 minutes. I'm pretty sure. The sad irony is that you spent less than a grand total of 0.5% of your playtime on your namesake. Oh no! <laughs> that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense, Suffer. Who do you mean then? Oh man. The um... Yeah, it's a, it's a hard choice as to what game I want to make, like my second one. I know a lot of people are probably like, Ileana, why not Monster Hunter? And I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm going to be playing Wilds once it releases, but man, I'm so burned out on Monster Hunter. Or not burned out. It's not even burnout. It's just that I like, I don't have anything left to do in Monster Hunter. Like I could just hunt over and over the same monsters over and over and over again. You're gonna have to go with viewers and whatever, and that'll be fine. That'll be fun, even. But it's nothing new. It's nothing new at all. And I want to do something a little bit more than that. Something that'll keep me engaged. Something like Warframe that has... a lot of different, uh... activities. And so many different ways you can play the game and do things you can do in the game that make every stream a different one, you know? That's the thing that I dislike about streaming Monster Hunter now that I've already done everything I want to accomplish. Um, both Arcane, actually. I played World and Rise. And I love them both, although World is, in my opinion, the more fun game. Just my opinion, but I like World. Rise is, like, arcadey. And while I can certainly understand how that would appeal to some people, I personally think that World is more up my alley. Far more up my alley, actually. In Warframe, we have robots with great asses, and we love Warframe for that, honestly. I do, at least. Oh, right. Let's go to the next one. Ooh, a void plume. Woohoo! In Ileana's stream, you always have a vampire with a great ass, if that makes you feel any better. Yeah, after you get everything in Monster Hunter, there's not much to do except just learn a new weapon. Exactly. Exactly. The, um... Proof? Discord. It's in Discord bullet. The, um... What was I gonna say, though? There's, uh... Yeah, it's just like... And I've already learned every weapon I want to learn in Monster Hunter. Does that make sense? There's not really... I don't really have much interest in learning another weapon, aside from the, the two that I main and the other two that I play, like, semi-casually. Oh, you play a lot of Neza. Very nice. I've heard good things about Neza. I've never played that frame, though. Burden. Even then, if you want to learn a new a new weapon in Monster Hunter, you want to start a new save for it. Oh, really? I don't do that, but yeah. Job done. I know some people do, like, Monster Hunter Nuzlocks and whatever. And that sounds interesting, but... Honestly, I feel like the early game is enough of an, like a breeze for experienced players, no matter what weapon you're playing. That I feel like that's basically just doing another playthrough, but you're not even allowed to pick what weapon you're playing. Because the risk of actually losing is pretty low for a player as experienced as myself, I think. That's my personal take, at least. And people speedrun and stuff, too. But I'm not a speedrunner. Speedrunner is just... Speedrunning is just, like... 
it takes a very special kind of hyperfixation that I don't think I'm capable of to play the same thing, exact same thing over and over and over again, iterating just tiny, tiny bits every time is like, that's torture for me. That's torture for me and my ADHD. Even if I'm hyper fixated on a thing. His name is pronounced Neja. Gotcha, I didn't know that. Good to know. He definitely carried you through a lot of the game's content. Hmm. Claudia, welcome back to stream. How are you doing today? It's so nice to have you here again. My favorite, favorite Sundere. I hope you're doing well. I love this song, by the way. Give me sympathy by uh, Metric. One of my favorite songs right now. That one in uh, Girls Guns Gold by, uh, or some order of those three words by Metric as well is also really good. Let's make this place work. All right, one more bounty and then we're good to go. Presence is enough to revive us. Excellent. You really do enjoy speedrunning, but once you're out of new tricks to learn and it's just tiny optimizations, you dip out. Gotcha, Nixie, yeah. I, uh... I, I'm pretty much the same. You're not a Sundere. Eh? Yeah, sure, you weren't, Claudia. That's exactly how a Soon would respond. You stole my playlist and it's addicting. I'm really glad. And I'm asking you, what's one thing I cook really well? Um, I make this really good jalapeno butter soy chicken dish that I serve over rice. It is to die for. It's, I'm going to shoot my own horn and say I'm actually a really good cook. I really enjoy cooking. And yeah, it's, it's really good. And the angels will take notice. Build armaments, safeguard the exodampers, and keep the oh, right. stable. Silent one, welcome back to stream. I'm yummy. I'm yummy, ale. I'm so first. glad. Wait, I went the wrong way. I kind of re don't remember how this mission type works. I think it's just like a weird version of defense. And we have to kill a ravenous void angel as well for the bounty. Oh, the wisp. Welcome back to stream. How are you doing? Very, very nice to see you here again. Sure, but you were talking about the food. Oh, fine. Oh, fine. Alrighty. And... Think. Ugh. Oh man, even these things are kind of killing me if I'm letting them hit me out in the open. I need to be careful with my frame being such a low level and having no mods on it. This is a totally unmodded Valbon, unfortunately. Oh man, you're Texan, so you make a super spicy chili. Oh boy, I cannot do spice. Which is why the Hot Ones interview on Saturday is going to be even funnier. That is something that is happening in 48 hours. I will be suffering, suffering, suffering as Lintello Broom asks me questions. Dropping off an Argosine canister. Alright, so we need to find this Void Angel too, wherever it may be. Although Ravenous Void Angel seems different than a normal Void Angel, I'm not sure. Speedrunning can definitely interesting, be interesting because, for example, Ocarina of Time just had a new glitch that's going to change the any percent run. Oh, interesting. Huh. Oh, and the Void Angel comes out after three waves. Gotcha, gotcha. Good to know. Construction complete. I think we only have 25 minutes until it becomes night, too. And then we are going to do some, uh... Once it's nighttime, we're going to do some Eidolons in Plains of Eidolon. Oh, 
I'm personally not a chili fan. There's something about ground meat and beans for that matter that just kind of squicks me out. So it's obviously not a super good food for me. But, um, I respect, I respect chili eaters, chili likers. Just not my favorite. Pog's like, I can't do my tour admissions right now because the first, the first tour admission is complete a tour admission solo. <laughs> Masky, you make a mean sandwich too. Nice. I love a good sandwich. I really love a good sandwich. Alright, let's get in there. Angry sandwich. Not that kind of mean, Daniel. Not that kind of mean. Oh, goodness. By the way, if anybody does want to join Discord at any point, please feel free to type exclamation point Discord and we can get you in there. And I forgot to respond to your comment earlier, Cosmic. You can do your research. I guess. Baka. Baka. <laughs> oh my goodness. And holo, thank you so much for the resub and the prime sub. Welcome back to the thing, friends, my friend. Oh boy. Yeah. We're just doing some uh, Warframe today. We're going to be getting started with uh, Eidolons as soon as nighttime falls. And Gray, welcome back to stream. How's it going? I'm sorry that you're annoyed at Warframe. Oh shoot. There is a new uh There is a new um update to how Twitch drops work. You actually have to go into your drops inventory and like request that they be sent to your game now, I believe, or claim them, I think. So that might be the problem. It's been that way for a couple months though. The angel is trying to retreat into the void so it can heal. Follow it and stop it. Alright, let's go ahead and finish off this fleet angel. Good. Now it'll stay some and time to extract. Perfect. Let's do it. I can't work it out. This is gonna be off the top of your head. Apparently there's a way to duplicate the big room. Oh, oh, it's like the Ocarina of Time glitch. I've actually never played Ocarina of Time, so I don't know enough about the glitch or the game to understand that glitch. I'll be back in like 30 seconds, you guys. All right, I return. I return, I return. She left us break out the garlic bread. Dude, I love garlic bread. It's a myth. We made up. We vampires made up that uh, gar we're allergic to garlic uh, to actually make you give us more of it because I love garlic. <laughs> it's so good. It's so, so, so good. All right, we now need to do two more mobile defense missions, which I hate. Um, it's time for Nora but let's head back Lynn. to the ship first and foremost. Siami, welcome back to stream. How are you doing today? All right, how long until it's nighttime here? Night and three minutes. I was wrong on the time. All right. I'm going to invite the whole lobby back in, but if you don't want to do Eidolons, just feel free to decline the invitation. And anybody who does want to join and play with us today, of course, please just feel free to type exclamation point join in the chat box. Ragna, the amount of garlic you put in your body is very concerning to God. Dude, I get that. I love garlic. There are like three things in this world that I'm a slut for. 
One is garlic. Two is chocolate. And three is guava. Best foods on earth, I swear to God. Have I ever done idle ones before? Exactly once and I was bad at it. I don't really know exactly how to how it works, but I'm gonna try my best. In Cosmic, your game crashed. You'll be there in a second. Sounds good. Sounds good. Oh, and watermelon. Watermelon's really good too. And orange bell peppers, specifically orange ones, are really good. And. Oh man, actually, I just like a lot of foods. <laughs> Spoiler alert, I just actually like a lot of foods. <laughs> You've been farming salvage for your base harrow and you're a whole 48 short. Oh, that's painful. For salvage, that's like nothing. Oh man. Ocarina of Time has so many subcategories for speedrunning. I bet. I bet, I bet. All right, I think we just need to invite uh, Toxic Hurricane. There we go. Oh, you're offline. Oh, yeah, you said, uh, you said that your game crashed. That's right. Just let me know when you're back in. And actually, we should probably just go right now. Because otherwise we might, uh, miss part of this. Why can't I click anything? Hello? Huh? Hello? Why can't I actually queue us up for anything? Can somebody else put us on Planes of Eidolon? I think my game bugged out. Thank you. Much appreciated, Joey. No, I can't click this either. Hello? Oh, thank you for force starting. Yeah, <laughs> appreciate it. Hey, Cake, welcome back to stream. How's it going today? Most Ocarina of Time speedrun categories are just based on what glitches they're about to use because the game has been broken wide open. That makes sense. That makes sense. And now, a massive sentient energy oh, right. How come I'm going planes? Eidolons. Yes, we're doing Eidolon farming cake. And Daniel, thank you for the lurk. We will see you in a little while and I hope you enjoy your evening. Good luck with work, okay? Oh, Terrorist, hello. Yeah, it is Eidos. Uh, Eidolons, okay. I've never really done them before, though, is the only problem. I think we have enough lures, right? We have three of them. Major Kusa, welcome back to stream. How's it going? You enjoy this game, but you have no idea what the fuck you're doing. Honestly, that's me whenever I play Warframe 2. I love this game, but I don't know what I'm doing, if I'm being real. Especially when it comes to Eidolons. Please send help. <laughs> oh, you want to start with one yellow lure and make it blue as soon as possible? Okay, how do you make it blue? Out of curiosity. Do you kill the Vomvalis Sneerit, I think? I think that's what it is. You know what they say. The road to good intent. You're ready if you're able to invite you? Oh, okay. Hold on. The objective has been completed. I can't invite you. Hmm. Oh, kill it, hack it, and then you kill the Voms. Got it, got it. I see. Is there a way to get you in? We'll definitely get you in after the first set of Eidolons, uh, Cosmic. Energy spike. I advise falling back. If we can't get you in right now. Oof. God, this is such a pretty color. The, like, 
blue and almost like off white yellow. That's so pretty. It's so pretty. Warframe honestly just looks really good as a game, I think. The lure sucks up the Vondalus and turns blue. Got it. Understood. Understood, understood. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Sorry, I tried to get you up and I pressed the wrong button, Ragna. That's my bad. Ooh, Gray, you're pretty chasty tonight. Chat, you're really chasty tonight. Oh, act now. Okay. Acting now. Ooh, O'Reilly, you're not chasing tonight. Yeah, you're kind of gross tonight, actually. If we're being real. Not really sure what we do at this point now. Maybe it's in operator mode? I'm just not sure where to shoot a lot of the time on this enemy. Oh, it's invulnerable right now. Okay, so I did just have to wait. I was just being stupid. Understood. I was like, I feel like I need to be doing something right now, but I don't know what to do. <laughs> but yeah, it was just invulnerable. All right. Nice. I wouldn't know. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Loot. We love the loot. Just press W. Just forward. <laughs> Alright, I got my shard in. And... Let me see if I can bite you now. No, I can't. When we rotate the bounties, we will get you in right away. Cosmic. Oh, I missed a piece of loot. Give me the loot. Exceptional sentient core. I hope you're doing well today, Kusa, by the way. It's nice to see you here again. What is this Vesero Sakara challenge? I'm not actually sure what that is. Oh, I think it's a cosmetic, actually. I'm pretty sure that's a cosmetic. All right, here we go. Usually when the thing has a gray health bar, it's in an invulnerability state. Uh, you essentially break its shields with the operator amp and then shoot the limbs, rinse and repeat until the limbs are gone, and then it'll make a last stand. Oh, okay, gotcha, thank you. Bullet, I tend to not like playing gotcha games. I don't... I'm just not a fan of, uh... Oopsie. I'm not a fan of, uh... the fairly predatory tactics of gotcha games, personally. So when it has armor, we shoot it with our guns. When it has shield, we shoot it with our amps. Is essentially what I'm gathering. Energy spike. I advise falling back. Oh. oh boy. Yeah, I've just been thinking about another kind of not necessarily I know you use the term forever game I'm not necessarily looking for a forever game I'm just looking for something that I can play really regularly without and be happy to stream two times a week every every week for a long time you know I don't even know what the crow is Masky I don't even know what the crow is Looks like the legendary rank 3 is doing all the work. Yeah, Joey's kind of carrying. I don't even have a good amp is part of my problem. Like, my amp is really bad. That's part of the reason we're farming Eidolons is so I can get a better one. 
but you know, we'll get them. We'll get there eventually. Eventually. I'm gonna wait until this energy spike is over to respawn so I don't spawn into death. So I feel like that would be uh, unfortunate, to put it lightly. Alright, there we go. Now let me respawn. Here we go. I got better amps from Fortuna. Yeah, I just there's a couple things I want to farm from Eidolons. I thought you got better amps from, from Quills, actually. Is that not true? I thought it was Quills. Maybe I'm wrong, though. I've been wrong before, that's for sure. Call me Masky. The Crow is a gritty love story. Uh... A couple die violently, and the husband come back to life to get revenge. Neither he nor his wife can be at peace till he does. Ooh, okay. Oh, there's only one meta part that comes from Fortuna. Got it. Understood. The, um... Your big brain take is that Warframe covers my PvE, so the other mainstay should be PvP. Yeah, and yet you all you all vetoed uh, both WoW and Magic, <laughs> as far as PvP goes. Everybody is like, Last Epoch. Last Epoch's also PvE, but that is not a bad idea, Nixie, at all. It really isn't a bad idea. The problem is figuring out what, uh, just what game I want to play that could keep my attention for a very long time, you know? It's always hard to figure that out. Did I play the first Ascendant beta? Oh, did I ever? Yeah, I hated it. I, I did not like that game, unfortunately. Oh, Arcane Bullet Valorant is so fun, but it's a terrible game for me to stream. It's too saturated. I'm not a WoW PvP gal at all. Oh, that's not true. I've been like 2100 before. I love PvP. I've never been especially good at it. I've only reached like 2100 and twos and like 1800 and threes, but I do love WoW PvP. And I love keys, too. Vox, you heard about PvP? You love about PvP? Oh, boy. Nice. Arcane, the thing that I didn't like about the first Descendant beta is simply something that they cannot fix. And that is the uh, issue of the gunplay feels like crap. It's just the honest-to-god truth. The gunplay feels like crap and cosmic. No problem, I understand. I hope you rest well if you're taking off. Energy Thank you for the care package, sugar! Welcome, welcome on into stream. To those of you that don't know the wonderful Sugar Fox, they are an amazing, amazing VTuber who is just so incredibly sweet. And everybody, please take a sip of whatever you're drinking and sit up straight, too. Yeah, no, I've never done WoW PvP on stream. Never on stream before. Because I don't have a PvP partner. I don't have an arena partner to do it with. Although if they did add the solo queue mode which I, in Dragonflight, which I haven't ever tried. Maybe that's what we can do tomorrow. For tomorrow's bonus stream that I'm going to be doing. So we can do the arena solo queue. See how that goes. I don't know. Thank you for shouting out, Sugar. Sugar is such a sweet bean. Please, please, please go check them out. I really do like them. Oh no! Ouch! Yeah, Sugar, we're just talking right now. I kind of think that I want to become like a two-game streamer. I think it would make me happier with stream in a lot of ways. And one of those games is absolutely going to be Warframe. 
But as far as the other one goes, it's hard to figure out what I want, you know? It's hard to figure out what I what I want to do that can hold my attention two times a week, every week, you know? I don't know. I don't know what the answer is yet, but I'll figure it out. I will certainly figure it out. No, that's exactly what I'm trying to get away from. I could do variety, but that's what I do now. And that's exactly what I'm trying to get away from, actually. I've been thinking about fighting games too, Kusa. I just... The game that I want to play the most as far as fighting games go is Grand Blue vs. Rising, and apparently the game is kind of dead now. Like, it already kind of died out, which makes me really sad to hear. I don't know if that's true, but that's what somebody said to me. Which just kind of sucks, because I loved that game. I loved it. I want a 2D anime fighter, but I don't like the art style of Undernight. And Grand Blue is apparently dead. So, I don't know. Limit material, night night. Don't let the bed bugs bite, that's my job. Oh, we need one more charged, okay. When you get on, you get uh, matches fairly quick still, although it's not DNF dual dead, but the community's definitely less than it was. That makes sense, yeah. Yeah, I don't really like survival games too much. You can make me play Minecraft for the low, low price of 1 billion channel points, though, uh, sugar. Fighting games have population issues in between updates. It's just the nature of the genre. Every single one of them. That makes sense. That does make sense. Alright, so that's all three Eidolons. So we... What do we do now? We extract, I think? I think that's how it works. And then we go back in. Yeah, Joey's heading to extraction. Cool. Me take those. Thank you so much for helping me with Eidolons and for kind of carrying me, Joey. Not even kind of. Really, really carrying me, Joey. <laughs> I appreciate it tremendously. And hello, let me get you in. Can you give me your Warframe username? So I can give you an invite here. I'm sad. I don't think I got a single thing that I actually wanted here. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> Feels bad. <laughs> It's just Hollow Nobu. Alright, sounds good. I'm not seeing you online. Can you send me a message so I can invite you in? No. Ragna, you got a nap before work. Thanks for letting you tag along. Thank you so much for tagging along. It was so nice to meet you, and I hope you have a great rest of your night. Thank you for the lurk, too. Sleep well. Hmm. Hey, Cryatomic. Welcome back to stream. I'm cute now. Are you calling me cute or something, Cryo? What, you want to kiss me? <laughs> How are you doing today, Cryatomic? It's nice to have you here. Oh, there you go. We just weren't online yet. Perfect. Let's do it. Maybe just a little bit of kissing, oh my god. <laughs> I'm doing grand, thank you. Just like you. And I hope your night's going well. What are you drinking? All right. Well, and now, a massive sentient energy, massive spike, sentient energy spike in my area. I advise you to be careful. Just a little bit of rum for yourself. No work tomorrow, so you're having a relaxed evening. That sounds fun. That sounds really, really nice, actually. What's the occasion for having work off? Long weekend.
All right, show me the idol on the words. There's one. What? What? Ah. Oof. But yeah, you will still get final matches in GB SL or GG. Honestly, it's more dead than both of them despite being near low. Why was that bits? I have no idea why that was bits. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, I guess, Nixie. <laughs> um, wait. Uh. Anyway, yeah, Under Night 2 is deader than both of them, but I'll still find matches in Grand Blue or a Guilty Gear. That's good to know, at least. That is good to know. And also, Kusa, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome on into the Fanged Friends. Very nice to have you here. But I need to hack them, don't I, after killing them? I don't know how this shit works. Energy spike. I advise falling back. That device is insufficient. You are directed to secure there we go. Cool. Saying... UNI choose sun fits. I think it's because UNI is the unicorn bit emoji. I'm pretty sure. It feels weird that it just did it like automatically though. I'm so sorry, but Nixie. Sorry that you, you lost your two bits to me. I stole them. I stole them from you. It was all part of my master plan. I got those two cents. I literally took two pennies out of your pocket, and there's nothing you can do about it. Ow! <laughs> Thank you for the other 12 bits, Nixie. <laughs> Goofball. Alright, I think this one's done. Looks like it, yeah. Nice job, team. I did nothing. It's the rest of your leftover wallet. Oh no, I stole Nixie's whole wallet. How could I? Oh, we need one more to be charged? Okay, hold on. That's not good. Are there any bombs around? I don't think so. We can charge the one over by Nobu, hopefully. So there's a bomb right here. Okay, we got another one charged. Cool. Except I think it just like woke back up. Uh oh. We have to do it again. Oopsie. Sentient energy contained. Oh, okay, now we're now we're good. You really like Nixie's name? Nixie's name is fantastic. I completely agree with that. Nixie's just a great person in general, Kaya. For real, for real. And Ragna, thank you for the follow, by the way. It was lovely having you here today. Enjoy your sleep, all right? Enjoy your sleep. Ouch. Hey, I've forgotten the follow before, don't you worry. It happens to the best of us. <laughs> it happens to the best of us, absolutely. All right, so next up we go to, and Cosmic, you're going to sleep. Good night, Cosmic. I hope you rest very, very well, and we'll see you another time. Have a good one. All right, summoning another idol on here. There we go. Do you need two lures for every Eidolon, or does it vary depending on which Eidolon it is? Two charged lures, I mean. Oh, you need two and then three and then three. Gotcha. Cool. I don't know where to shoot on this thing. <laughs> I really wish I did. I wish I knew how this worked. I need to watch a video or something. What do you mean, additional Eidolon lures? We got three of them right here, buddy. Actually, since I don't know how Eidolons work, I'm gonna go find three more lures and charge them for the last Eidolon. That's probably a better use of my time than sitting and watching them do it. 
You can shoot anywhere if you're doing the shield. Okay. I must be doing it at the wrong times then. Energy spike. I advise falling back. Auto breach, that's convenient. Alright, so we got three lures over there, so. Oh wait, did one of them follow me? Uh oh, I gotta get back then. Yeah, one of them did follow me. I have to stay here, I guess. The key to any game is to spray and pray until something happens. Truer words have never been spoken, Kraya. That is absolutely accurate. Oh, it's highly likely that Joey is insta-killing the shields. Gotcha, gotcha. That makes sense. That makes sense. I was like, where are the shields? Why isn't it working? But I get it now. I get it now. Kind of, at least. So where do you shoot for the armor, then? You shoot the limbs, but, like, if the limbs are always invincible. For some reason. I'm not sure why. That's what I'm not getting about this. I bet the boss likes having his toes tickled. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it, Kaya. Sadly. I do condone raw hand holding. We're holding hands on the planes of Eidolon right now, Bullet. What are you going to do about it, hmm? What are you going to do about it? I thought that's what it was. Absolutely nothing. Oh, right. You're for Gante now? Oh my gosh. And Kay, thank you for the follow. My name's Ileana. We're doing my first couple idol on hunts here tonight. And it's very nice to meet you. Hope you're doing well today. I love how they just like get sucked up into nothingness. It's so goofy. Oh, right. And we got loot. Look at that. All the loot. Oh my god, the dream of all men. What, to get sucked up into nothing? <laughs> You're ridiculous, Kaya. Hi, Kay. How are you doing? It's nice to have you here. Oh, Lupus and Kay, do you know each other? Hello, hello. Alright, let's go find... We actually we have enough lures. This one just needs to get charged. Okay. I touched the water, so I respawned. Whoopsie. Ah, oh, you do know Lupus, the dastardly devil, sending people to my stream. How could he? Oh my gosh, it's nice to meet you though, okay? Very nice to have you here. You're cursing them to a fate worse than death, Lupus. That fate being that they have to actually watch my stream. <laughs> Shit, I fell in water again. Alright. I truly have no idea how this shit works. This is unpleasant. You used to all be respectable until you came here. Excuse you, I'm very respectable. I don't know what you're talking about. Humph. Hmm. Dang, you thought you were going to be a blood bag for a vampire? I mean, that can still be arranged. The limbs are the ribcage-like parts on the upper body and the knees on the legs. Oh, thank you. Oh, you introduced Kay to my ASMR videos. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, you had to deal with that, too. SMH Lupus actually cursing their friends to me. To me. Little old me. Energy spike. I 
I actually found one spot where it was taking damage, so that's good news. Lupus is sending you down a dark path, it's true. It's so true. Haha! It does no damage though, for some reason. Oh man. Hey GC, welcome back to stream, I'm doing great. Although I have no idea how to do Eidolons. How are you doing today? You're leading the puppy girl astray. Oh, Kay's a puppy girl, are we? I've met some, uh... I've met some interesting puppy girls in my time. A solid 95% of the time they end up barking for me, so... Looking forward to that. Ooh. JC, I don't know. 29% delicious ain't so good. This hurts. Jesus. Eidolons are the worst. This is my first time ever doing Eidolons, and I really don't understand what's going on. I need to watch a video. I need, I need, I need to watch a video. But we will eventually. Kraya, your blood's not very delicious either. It must be that rum. What are we going to do about that, Cryatomic? just made her so flustered. Good. Good she should be. I guess you'll go on a purge. No, don't do that. <laughs> that sounds unhealthy. That sounds very unhealthy. All right, there we go. Ooh, yo, Lupus, 98% delicious. NK, 84%. Just the way I like it. Oh my gosh, so many items. Yippee! Sweeping serration slash for a shotgun. Not what I needed, unfortunately. I want buzzkill. That's okay, though. We'll take a sweeping serration. So do we just do this until it turns to daytime? Is that, like, the plan? I think. Probably. You want a 69%. Oh, nice try. Nice try, Nixie. Would have been pretty impressive, though. Yeah, we got Sweeping Serration. That's a new one. Do you want an invite back, Hollow, or are you done for now? Your choice, of course. Hmm... You got a reverse 69. <laughs> True. <laughs> Hollow, you're done. You're being called for a relink. Have fun. I hope you enjoy. You may not be tasty, but you don't stink. That's true, Kaya. I respect it. I don't know if I want to do, keep doing Eidolons with only two people. Uh, shall we? So we can pop on, do something else if you want. Unless somebody wants to join us for Eidolons here, you can type exclamation point join, of course. Let's go ahead and turn some of this stuff in here. Actually, trade sentient course for quill standing. What do we want to... Which one do we want to trade in to get the standing out of curiosity? Is there like a best one to do? Or does it not really matter? I'm looking to see if their wares cost anything in particular. No, just standing. So, yeah, we can just we can just get cool standing with uh, exceptional quares. Cool. Yoink. And we can rank up now. Oop. You always use the lowest tier for standing. Oh, maybe I should have done that. Okay, that's good to know. That is good to know. Uh, I'm just gonna pick a random one. Sure. <laughs> Cryatomic, you lost interest in Warframe, sadly, because you played it too much years ago. 
<laughs> I get that. An urchin, welcome back to the stream. Yes. How's it going? I hope you're doing fantastic today. Separating from oh, right. So what else do we need here? The better ones can be converted to affinity for focus. Oh, okay. That's a good that's a good way of doing it then, Meepu. Thank you. What did I want to do now? Let's look at my list of things I need to farm. Inventory. I just need to do I have Vitus Essence? Yes, I do. Uh galvanized aptitude is something I need. So I, I can go buy that really fast, but I need to farm endo and I need to farm, especially need to farm credits. So let's do some index, if that's cool. Um, yeah, let's do some index. Anybody who does want to join for index, please just type exclamation point join in the chat box. We'll get you in. Any camp? Oh, actually, we need to do ESO first. We're going to do eight rounds of ESO, and then we're going to do index. The idol on shards can be converted into focus, but the standing mats cannot. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Good to know. Where is the place you... I think it's Larunda that you go to to buy the, um... The galvanized bonds, I'm pretty sure. Have any interest in Helldivers 2? No, not really. Everybody's been asking me about it, but I just don't think that the game looks that interesting to me, if I'm being honest. So I'm probably going to take a pass on Helldivers 2, sadly. It's a bit, a bit of silly fun, not much to it. Yeah. Yeah, so I've heard. It just doesn't seem like it's really for me. And Kay, I don't know what you're talking about. I can absolutely imagine Lupus calling calling out your state secrets. That doesn't surprise me at all. It doesn't surprise me literally at all, actually. Wait, do I already have aptitude? No, I don't. I have I have chamber and I have diffusion. I don't have aptitude though. Okay. Acquired. Perfect. All right, so let's do some ESO now. <laughs> We'd be like the War Thunder forums in the chat. Dude, loop it, or War Thunder, War Thunder forums go fucking crazy. I actually cannot believe the existence of, uh... I just cannot believe how much people end up in trouble for revealing confidential secrets on the War Thunder, War Thunder forums of all fucking places. I'm going to ask another question. I'm going to be doing these polls throughout the day today. Hold on. I'm going to be doing the polls throughout the day today. Um... Hold on, Retail World of Warcraft, uh... Yeah, we can put Pokemon on there. Um... Am I leveling anything? You could give us Affinity Booster. I'm not really level... Actually, yeah, I am gonna level a frame. Come to think of it. I'm gonna level Valbon. The Hearthstone event is love happening in Retail WoW. I don't know what the Hearthstone event is. I'll have to log in and actually do the event. And Masky, can you give me your username so I can invite you in? Um, Pokemon, what else is on this list this time? Oh, it has to be ESO for Nightwave, which doesn't allow non-max frames. Oh, okay, we'll, we're just going to do my max frame then. I forgot about that. All right. So, thank you for the lurk, Arcane. We'll see you soon. Yeah, I won a I won a hundred thousand platinum at Tenno or Tenno VIP, which was the TwitchCon event. 
I was really lucky about that. Really lucky for that. All right, here's another poll uh, to help me decide. Uh, again, not committing to anything. We're running a bunch of these polls today just to compare different games against each other. Um, but just to help me decide what the second mainstay game that I'm going to be moving into is now that I'm moving out of being a variety streamer. Sting like a nuke. Oh, I like that name. Sting like a nuke. That's funny. Joey, you're the same way. You've dropped on, you dropped most games to focus on Warframe and Monster Hunter. I respect it. Yeah. I totally respect that. How do you do ESO? I think it's up here. No. Syndicate. Okay, here we go. Hey, Blackfire. Welcome back to stream. Stream is going well today. Hope you're doing well too. Ugh. Yeah, but make your voice heard up at the top of the chat box. I'm curious what you all... Uh, very curious what you all think on the subject of, uh, like, uh, oh, you didn't do the quest for it. Oh, no. <laughs> well, we'll get you back in for, uh, the rest of the stuff as soon as this, we do eight waves of this masky. I needed to cough and I almost died. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was scary. Cryotomic, somehow League of Legends is still your mainstay game. I'm so sorry, my friend. I am so sorry. That's, that's rough. Ah. God, some of the executions in this game are just insane. Once team fight tactics leaves uh, PBE, you might try it out again. I don't like TFT too much. I've tried it before, and I just think it wasn't really for me, sadly. Kind of a shame, because it's like a really cool concept. It just doesn't click for me. Something about it doesn't click for me. And I used to play it exclusively with my ex and the... It would probably just make me sad if I tried to play it again, honestly. Yeah, auto battlers are definitely for a certain kind of person. That much is true. That much is very, very true. Blackfire, you haven't played enough games. The problem with me doing story-driven games, uh as a second mainstay is, oh my god, it would cost me so much money to, like, buy them all. <laughs> Games are so expensive these days. That's okay, though. It happens. Just what it is sometimes. Oh, boy. I am thinking that no matter what we decide on tomorrow night's stream is going to be wow, just because I want to do the Hearthstone event. And we can also, uh, we can also, uh, I mean, see how you all like it, especially. I could also try the arena solo queue thing that they added. Alright, let's go on. Cryotomic, there are a lot of games on sale right now because of spring. That's true, that's true. Doom actually went on sale. It's only 10 bucks right now, which is pretty neat. This is Hot Ones Weekend on Saturday, JC. Saturday is the Hot Ones stream. I'm so looking forward to it. I'm actually really quite nervous, but I'm looking forward to it too. Y'all get to see me suffer through ridiculous hot sauce. So much hot sauce. 
Well, the reason I'm not thinking of picking up Doom... I mean, I'm thinking of picking it up, but I'm not going to because I know I wouldn't play it for a while. I sure am a hot one. That's true, Cryotomic. I am a hot one. That's true. That's true. I need to make some more ASMR on YouTube. It's been a too long since I've done that. I enjoy doing ASMR on Twitch, but I don't want to make it a mainstay because it's like... Dude, I wouldn't have enough to fucking talk about if I did ASMR for 12 hours a week. I really wouldn't have enough to talk about. Doing ASMR for like four hours on Sunday, it was fun, but it was hard enough. I'm just not that interesting. <laughs> I'm not interesting enough for that. Aren't vampires cold to the touch? I don't know, want to find out? If I were Cora Prime, you'd let me use my two on you. I don't know enough about Cora Prime to understand the the pickup line here, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> That's too bad. ASMR is just character play. It's yes and no. There's definitely more that goes into it than that, but... It, you're, you are right that there's a decent amount of acting going into it, for sure. Hey, Emma, welcome back to stream. You almost got Limbo Prime, but the Warframe gods did not let you have mercy. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear. Maybe someday soon. Maybe someday soon. Cryotomic, are you blushing furiously right now? Are you blushing furiously right now for me? I know, I know Kay is, but I'm wondering about Cryo right now. You are indeed a blusher. I'm a blusher too, actually. Except if you want to hear a secret, I don't really blush on my cheeks. I blush on my ears. My ears t end up turning bright red <laughs> when I'm when I'm embarrassed. Is it true that vampires can only blush if they've recently fed? Well, of course. It's only natural. Okay, you haven't said anything. I'm just teasing you. <laughs> and making a an educated guess with the knowledge that you are a puppy girl. You were trying poorly to get Equinox Prime, but in your attempt, you found out the market is useful. Oh my gosh, yeah. I respect it. I totally respect that. See, okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. What do you all think, by the way? What do you all think about the idea of an uncapped subathon? The thought is there. I just don't know. I'm like, I kind of, there's a part of me that really wants to do it, even though I know I shouldn't. Can my body take it? My body can take a lot more than a, an uncapped subathon, Nacho. Welcome back to the stream. Oh shit. Do what I want because the pirate is free. <laughs> I should, I should. It all depends on whether or not I both get and accept the job that I'm interviewing for on Friday. I'm like, actually Friday's tomorrow. The job that I'm both accept, like interviewing for tomorrow. We'll see if I get it. We'll also see if I actually accept it. Cause um, my understanding is it's a work from home job. But if it's not a work from home job, I probably won't accept it because I don't want a repeat of the whole daycare incident where having to go out just really made my life a lot worse because I was not able to be home with my dog and my fiance when they were and only saw them like two times a week. Um, it's a support, a support job, like an IT support job, Kaya. I'm pretty sure that it's work from home but the listing doesn't explicitly say that so i want to that's what i'm basically going to the interview 
trying to find out if that makes sense. Wow, a lot of you. That was pretty overwhelming. A lot of you want to see me play story-based games, huh? See, I've tried to play story-based games in the past is the only thing. And they never go so well. Like, people just don't seem to want to watch me play them. Always good just to ask. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Like, I would love to play story-based games on stream. It's just, uh... Like, when I've tried to play, like, Tales of Arise or Nier Automata in the past, people haven't really wanted to watch. So I'm interested that so many people said yes to that. Sorry, I needed to take a sip there. But maybe times have changed. I know there's been a lot of, like, turnover in my community. No, I never played Cyberpunk. I don't even own it. Never played Cyberpunk. Don't even don't even own it. <clears throat> People don't know what they want. <laughs> oh man. Nixie, you'll be here for all of it though. You mean that genuinely? You're sweet. You're sweet, you're sweet. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I got no idea what to do. If I do end up doing the subathon and it lasts for more than like a day, then I'm probably going to need to not be a mono game streamer or two game streamer for until the subathon's over. Here's the thing. The last time I did an uncapped subathon, people were so fucking excited for it that it lasted over a month. And that's what scares me. <laughs> that's what scares me, you guys. Oh, man. It would be fun. I just worry about running out of shit to play, if that makes sense. You know how it goes. I could do a long cap rather than uncapped. That's true. What I did last time was I just capped it. I said, okay, I'm, I'm done with this, and I capped it out. And people understood. I had a chat with the community about it and everything. So if I did do an uncapped, then when I was, like, unable to continue, I would cap it out. But, yeah. We'll see. We'll figure it out. We will absolutely figure it out. Whoa. I don't know. Lots of things that I'm thinking about for stream lately. I'm, uh... Lots of things I'm thinking about for stream. I want to make more YouTube videos. I want to make more clips. I want to just improve my content. I mean, that's that's one of the biggest things, right? Is like, don't get me wrong. I think I'm entertaining, but I could be better. I could absolutely, absolutely be better. I said Velvet Puppy, Joey. I've been watching Velvet Puppies on day like 102. I was in her stream earlier today. I feel so bad for her. <laughs> oh, it's your C. Gotcha. Um. There's Tellurium on Uranus. I believe so, yeah. I think. I think it's Uranus and Neptune. Maybe Pluto, but definitely Neptune. Unless I'm crazy, which I am, but. I gotta pay those ER bills. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta pay the ER bills, I know. It hurts, dude. And like, here's the thing, right? Like, I have the money to pay them, but I don't. It's, like, dwindling ever further <laughs> with every ER visit that I have to go through. It's just so lame. Like, I've got healthcare. I have healthcare. I have good healthcare. Like, pretty good healthcare as far as the I can get on the marketplace. And yet, 
going to the ER is just like so hard on the wallet. Cryotomic, not to brag, but free healthcare. I know, I know. You jerk. You jerk. Oh man, Joshua, thank you for the seven stream streak. Holy moly. No, US healthcare is just totally broken, dude. I was in the ER twice in February and it's just unfortunate. First time I fell on the ice, I had a concussion and some whiplash in my neck. Second time I cut my finger while I was cooking, needed three stitches. The concussion was the really expensive one because I had to get a CAT scan. Any medical appointment is hell in the wallet coming from a professional patient. I am lucky that I'm not in professional patient status anymore. I used to be though. When I was a kid, I was very, very, very sick as a child. Luckily, I obviously wasn't the one paying, back, paying for that because I was a literal child, but... I don't know. It was hard on my parents, for sure. And we had great healthcare through my dad's job when I was a kid. It was still really hard on us. I was in the hospital very, very frequently in my youth. Um... Yeah, I've thought about something like that too, Nixie. And Cryotomic, good luck. Honestly, free sounds great, but uh, good luck getting an appointment in the UK. I've heard that too. I've heard that. The thing is, I don't actually know if an uncapped subathon would go crazy for me anymore. Like, it did the first time. Uncapped, the uncapped subathon went crazy for me the first time. But I'm also a smaller streamer now than I was back then, so maybe it would be like more, uh, what's the word? More, um, relaxed. <laughs> oh my god, Cryo, what the heck? No, I have to spin, no, actually I don't have to spin the wheel. <laughs> Thank goodness. That's very sweet of you. Thank you for the gifted subs, Cryotomic. You're a ridiculous little goofball. Yeah, I am a smaller streamer than I was half a year ago. Um, my channel has shrunk a lot, which has actually made me self-conscious. It made me self-conscious for a while, but I realized at some point that I got worse at streaming. I got worse at streaming, and I just... I want to improve my content. I want to get better at it. Because... I think when I started taking it seriously, I started getting worse at it. And I want to get back to a place where I can really be on an upward trend and be on an upward trend deservedly for a reason. Actually deserve to be on an upward trend, you know? Where my content is actually really, really entertaining and worth watching over people. And all that jazz. And, um... I'm, I'm worse at that than I used to be. I, I'm less entertaining than I used to be, but I'm committed to starting to really self-evaluate critically on what I could do better and start to make my content even more enjoyable. And of course, I know you all find it enjoyable because you're here right now, but I don't just want to be good at what I do. I want to be great at it. I want to be excellent at it. I'm not one who likes half-assing things as you probably know by now, so. You know how it goes. JC, you said you were enjoying this. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Subathons are so unpredictable. It's not about community size as much as it is about how many whales will want to hold you hostage. That is true. That is very true, Nixie. Oh, man. Yank. 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 
I hold you hostage in the basement. Uh, <laughs> time for some pay payback. Oh my god. That's true, Vox. I don't know. I, I don't like thinking about people like that. Like, I know lots of content creators and certainly companies do, but I, I don't like thinking about people as like whales or dolphins or whatever. They're just people. Like, everybody who watches my stream is just a member of the community, you know? I don't think about people like that, despite what some people think. I had the only drama that I've ever really been involved in uh, as a streamer, very luckily, was for some reason some guy thought and, well, some guy and some girl, two different people, uh, but, like, thought that I was, like, greedy and just like using my community for money or something like i don't know it was really weird it made me feel really bad though they started like posting about it on twitter and it just kind of made me feel awful uh i didn't respond to it but man it was like i look at people as people and i i know i hope that i never ever ever put pressure on anyone to financially contribute to the channel, because that's the last thing in the world I want to do. Cryotomic, you're a whale, but enough about your weight. Oh my god, no, don't say that. Also, Masky, we're going to be ready for you in like a minute and 30 seconds. That's nuts. Obviously, I'm here to make high quality content, and that's why people support me to enjoy the content. So, it's, um, both of the people were, they they were very close friends, other Monster Hunter streamers, um, and my understanding is that they were, my assumption and my understanding from a third party is that they were kind of jealous of me, I guess, I don't know, it sucks, but it's just what happens, I suppose. <laughs> You've given subs because you're a pirate and you'll do what you want. Oh my goodness. The one person, the, the girl, actually caused has caused me no amount of heartache and grief, though. I, there have been a lot of doors that have very seriously been closed on me because of her. I had never spoken to her in my entire life. Literally not once. And apparently she was DMing all of the other Monster Hunter VTubers, like, telling them not to talk to me because she doesn't trust me. Um, and she thinks I use people. It was really strange. And I do not understand it. But, uh... Yeah. It sucked. How do we leave? Do we just not go in? I think we just don't go in. Um, but she closed a lot of doors for me. It's actually one of the reasons I stopped streaming as much Monster Hunter. As, uh... I was just like... The community is just hard for me to be around now. Honestly, of other streamers, it kind of sucks. I truly don't understand it. I, I literally do not understand where it came from, why it happened, but... There you go. People use her emotes in my chat all the time, too, and I'm like, oh, man. If only you knew. If only you knew. What this person was like behind the scenes. <laughs> There's... It's one of the interesting things as a streamer. It's, uh... It's one of the really interesting things as a streamer. It's like... There's so much that you know... About other people... That you want to say, but you can't. But, like... There are some people who are... There are some people who are... Not good people. Um, at least in the Monster Hunter community. Um, which I happen to be... That's where I happen to know most people from. There are some people who are very, very much not good people. And... They seem to be on stream, but in reality, it's far, far, far different. And 
they've done a lot of harm to a lot of people, uh, myself included. Um, and I've never said a bad word about them, but you want to. You want to. And I'm not going to because I, I think the high road is the way that you're, you should take in life. But you want to sometimes because they really affect you. At least they really affect me. It's what it is. Wesker, welcome back to stream. How are you doing? I'm building a better community now with better games. <laughs> hey, I love Monster Hunter. I love Monster, Hun Monster Hunter, but still. Okay, so we are going to invite Masky back in and do some index. We load. Oh my gosh, speaking of streamers who are awesome though, hello we load. How are you doing today? It's nice to have you back here. All right, let's do some index. And if anybody else does want to join, please feel free to just type exclamation point join. Oh, we got no Clavot armor. Nice. No one her dreamers are out there. That's all we have time for. All right, where is index? I think it's Neptune. Yeah, it is. All right, let's do high risk investment. Here we go. Am I going to do any Natra Cell tonight? I've actually never done Natra Cell before. I'm probably not going to tonight, though. I need to farm credits right now and endo. I'm not actually sure how you farm endo, but we'll figure it out at some point. Oh, right. Here we go. Index time. Tonight's a good time to start. I need to get my shards. I don't... Yeah, I don't have a single. I've never had an Archon shard before. And Knucklehead, welcome back to stream. Going very well today. I hope you're doing fantastic too. I kind of forget how Index works, if I'm being honest with you. But you know what? We'll figure it out. You just want to say thank you for my soothing voice. Uh, it helps stave off the absolute unyielding rage that is consuming you trying to get Mech Warrior 5 to work. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm really glad that you find my voice so soothing, everybody. And that goes for, uh... That goes for, uh... Who else said that earlier, too, that I missed the message? JC Smash, too. Knucklehead, you just got selected for a special role at your job. Congratulations! That is fantastic! I'm so glad for you. Where the hell are the enemies? There's one. Okay. And there's another. And there's another. So we just like, kind of like, kill these guys that keep respawning. It's almost like an arena style match. But then what happens? Oh, we get these things on the ground. Oh, and then we have to bring them. Okay, that's how it works. And Nobu, you're going to join back? Of course. As soon as we're done this run of the Index, we'll get you back in. I hope you enjoyed Relink. Cryotomic, how special is special? Oh, well. As long as I'm involved, it's probably very special, right? No, but really, Knucklehead, I'm super glad for you. Congratulations. Oh, the new relink rate is bugged. Is it going to wait till it's fixed? If that makes sense. Too bad, though. Hopefully we fix it sooner rather than later. I, uh... I didn't like relink too much. I tried it. But I really just kind of couldn't get behind it, sadly. 
I wanted to like it more. How's MTG been going? I've been really enjoying it. Magic is such a fun game. I haven't streamed it at all, and I'm not sure if I'm going to. But god, Magic is such a good game. It's so much fun. The only special you had at work was your manager telling you you made too many puns on your emails. Oh no! And, uh... I actually really like Monster Hunter, but I didn't love Relink for some reason. Uh, hello? Okay, you just are getting into magic. You're trying to play your first commander deck. I I played magic over 10 years ago. I The last set I played was Avacyn Restored. The last time, time I played was Avacyn Restored, but I decided to jump back into it a few days ago with Arena, and it's been fun. I wasn't giving magic a hard time, I don't think, JC. I love magic, or I used to. I probably said that it's fucking expensive, which is true. And I don't like that about it, but I like the game itself a lot. And, um, uh, what deck have I been playing? I've been playing Black Red Vampires, Rakdos Vampires, uh, in Standard, which has been really fun. I want to build the control deck too. I've, I used to play Simic. Um, I used to play Simic, but apparently Simic is just garbage right now, which makes me very sad. He used to play MTG like four years ago when he didn't work from home. Mm hmm. You would play a Black Red Vampire deck too? I know you would. Good. It's the right way to do it. Yeah, the vampire playing vampires. Can you can you imagine? So surprising, honestly. All right. There we go. Okay. I mean, I yeah, Simic is cool. Simic, like, apparently the only meta Simic deck right now is Cookies, which... I don't know. I don't really want to play Cookies, if I'm being real. But apparently Simic is just bad. I've, I've never been a super good deck builder on my own. Um, although... The one deck I ever took really seriously when I built did really well. So... I don't know, maybe I should try my hand at more deck making or something. Who knows, right? Who knows? Alright, and we're done. Yippee. Do we keep going? Oh wait, no, we no. Oh shoot, wait, we were gonna get somebody else in. I'm sorry, Hollow, I totally forgot. As soon as this round is over, we will get you in for index. Index points up for grabs. Your toxic trait with MTG was seeing other people's win conditions and you needed to share? What do you mean? Oh man, you last played MTG about six years ago with friends in high school and you played green. Nice. Yeah, I always played Simic. With Simic, for those of you who are uninitiated, is blue-green. Um, the color combination blue-green is Simic. And I fucking love Simic. It's just such a fun combination. Oh, you would lose just to share this. Oh, I see what you're saying. You would basically like break down their deck and lose intentionally and tell them about it. That makes sense. Yeah, Titania and Gara Prime are Prime Resurgence. I know. We need to farm Titania Prime because I have so much Aya. We can definitely get her. Maybe we'll make that an upcoming Warframe stream is farming Titania Prime. I already have Gara Prime. Oh, they're in the market? Wait, I don't know how that works. I guess I'm not sure how that works. You want to get Gauss Prime? I need Gauss Prime too. I haven't done Relic Cracking since I came back to Warframe. You need to do that at some point. Because I need Gauss. I also need Titania. Yeah. 
Flanks in the open! Oh my gosh! Yank. Okay, you join the farm. Mm-hmm. You think you have some of Gauss's relics? I probably do at this point as well. I haven't checked though. Oh, go to my in-game market console, open the search, type relic, and they pop up. Oh, is that how Prime Resurgence works? What do they what do you buy the relics for then? Out of curiosity. Is it just like credits? Oof. Oh no, Masky, you died. Rip. It happens. Don't worry, it happens. Oh, you do buy them for Aya. See, that's what I thought, but then somebody said, no, you don't need Aya for them. I don't know. Whatever. It's fine. Yeah, I've got plenty of Aya. I've got like over 100 Aya. Alright, I need to go turn these in before I die because my death is on death defy is on cooldown. Did I finish Lies of P? I did. I loved Lies of P. Literally my favorite Souls game that I've ever played. It was so good. It was so, so, so good. I don't know if you all saw, by the way, but we got some new stuff on the Punishment Wheel. I was talking about it at the beginning of stream. It'll be fun. And we've already done it today, but as of today... We can now spin the Punishment Wheel one time for free with uh, 100,000 channel points. Oh, I died. Oh, no. You'd take some of that Aya from me? Oh, you'd watch me cry? How could you? They are teardrops after all, aren't they? They look like them at least. You remember watching me play Lies of P, but you didn't happen to see the end? It was a good game. It was a really good game. I liked it a lot. What is this thing? That, like, thread. It's weird. It's full of thread. Uh, there we go. Yoink. Did I beat our, all of the Dark Souls games? I've beaten three. I haven't played one or two. But I did finish three, and I finished the DLC of three. Oh, you thought Vampire Blood was two? <laughs> was blue? Just like the misconception that blood is blue and it's away from oxygen. <laughs> yeah, that's not actually true. Lots of people think it, but it's not true that blood is uh, blue and it's away from oxygen. It just appears blue because of how the light refracts through our veins. Ask me how I know. Well. Alright, Knucklehead, you believed that for like 20 years. It was, re it was a really common myth there for a while. Like a really, really common myth there for a while. There we go, nice job. Dark Souls 1 is pretty fun. That might be a good story-based game. Yeah, maybe. We'll think about it. We'll definitely think about it. Alright, so let me invite you in. Can I rem- Can you- Oh, wait. I know your name. It's just the same as Twitch. Mask, you gotta hop out real fast. No problem. Do you want us to wait for you? Or are you gonna be longer than a couple minutes? I should get to Tanya. You're not biased. Yeah, sure you weren't, Joey. Sure. I totally believe you. Doing a quick trade? Yeah, we'll we'll wait for you. Take your time. In the meantime, I want to look at how much how many credits I actually have right now. 18 1.8 million. I need I need, I think, about five mil. Oh, that's gonna take so long, though. Maybe we won't, we won't do it all tonight, probably. 
You just finished Dark Souls 3 again recently. It doesn't really take long once you know the game. I agree. Yeah, it's not super long once you know the game. It is a really fun game, though. I like Dark Souls 3. I didn't like it too much at first, and then I came back to it. And it clicked for me the second time, fortunately. Oh, boy. What's my Simmeris standing right now? 19,000. That's fine. Help the sanctuary. I need to rebuy the Zoras at some point so I have a complete collection. I didn't realize that I shouldn't sell the Zoras. Eh, we'll get there eventually. That I will definitely be doing off stream though because I hate farming Simmeris rep. Oh, it's so painful. And then, and then there's good old Conclave. Never done Conclave before. Cryo, you didn't like Dark Souls 1 when you first played, but you tried again years later and it was a lot of fun for you. Nice, nice. Do I want a quick way to farm Simmeris rep? Yes, please, actually. You ready, Masky? Alright, hold on. And Hellgamer, thank you for the care package. Everyone, please take a sip of whatever you're drinking and sit up straight. Zora saved you from doing the MR9 test. I did not cheese the MR9 test and it was so painful. It has been a little bit since you've been here, Hellgamer. I hope you've been doing well, though. And Atlas, welcome back to stream. How are you doing? Hope that you're doing fantastic. MR9 test is best with Gleaves. I know. I did it with a sword. That was a big mistake. And Hellgamer, you're doing all right. You're just relaxing. Nice. I'm glad for you. That sounds quite fun. Oh, boy. Pick a number of those numbers. Obviously 69. That's not even a question. And Blackfire is such a cozy, a cozy stream. I'm so glad you enjoy. Good, good, good. Oh, right. Okay, so pick an invisible frame. I don't actually have one, but I could get one. Like, Loki, go to Steel Path Plains of Eidolon and just scan scan and fly around scanning enemies. Oh, that's really nice. I didn't know you could do that. That's cool. You can max that out in 10 to 15 minutes. It's a lot faster than doing the daily bounty, which is what I had been doing for a little while. Great, you're trying to cheese a blessing from the Earth Relay to make uh, leveling less painful. I respect it. I respect it. Investors are eyeing those dropped coins. There are no drop coins. What drop coins are you talking about? Where the heck are these drop coins? Where even are the enemies? There they are. I wish things spawned faster in the index. That's like one of my annoyances about this. This way of farming credits is you just kind of wait around not doing a whole lot for a while in this mission. But hey, what can you do, I guess? What can you do? I, um... You farm Profit Taker for creds with Chroma? I don't have Profit Taker yet is the problem. I need to do my open world standing with all these various factions until they're all maxed out, but I've been lazy with that. I've been really lazy with that, unfortunately. Yeah, you say index points up for grabs, but where the heck are the enemies? Index is my best bet without a profit taker. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Just a shame. Because it is a fairly boring mission, honestly, if I'm being real. The index is up. 
I don't know how Joey like tripled all of our kills last round though. Like Joey knows the spawns, dude. Joey knows the spawns. Although he is flying around as Titania, so I suppose that makes some degree of sense. Hmm. Kens, you want me to oo woo for you? Oo woo? <laughs> there you go. Beats, good morning. Welcome to the waking world. How are you? I hope you're doing well today. Kens, you can go to sleep now. Oh, fantastic. Sleep well, sleep tight, and do not let the bed bugs bite because that is my job. Get out of here. Enjoy your rest. Wait, spawns are based on where a frame is looking. If you run around looking at the ground, they'll spawn near me. Seriously? That's so weird. Okay, I'll try it. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. All right. Oh, there's one over here. Joey's gonna beat me to it, though. Ah, I got the kill. Take that, Joey. You may have gotten the coin, but I got the kill. <laughs> Let's do a million. Let's do a million credits before we uh, extract here. I think that's what I want to do right now. All right, Beats, you're good. You had a really good sleep and you didn't dream of me. How could you? How could you not dream of me, Beat? You're terrible. Absolutely terrible. I have a cred booster on, right? Oh shit, I don't. Uh, We should extract after this one and I should put a cred booster on. That's a good call, JC. That's a good call. I forgot about that. No need to extract. Okay. How do we do it without extracting then? Type slash profile shop. Oh shit. This works. Oh wait, no. Hold on. That didn't work. Never mind. Oh wait. Maybe it did. Wishlist. Oh, no way. And then you can just buy this for yourself here? Sweet. Awesome. Thank you. That's so cool. That's really cool. That's so nice. Thank you. I had no idea this would work this way. Then we need to get another resource booster too. Okay, cool. Nice. We take those. And you can give us credit blessing. That would be awesome, Joey. Yeah. Actually, if we're going to do a million, why don't we do 1.5 million? Then we'll get 3 million, and that should be enough. Yeah, let's go to 1.5 million, so six rounds in total. Easy loaner, 100,000 in platinum is actually crazy. I know. I wanted a 10 of VIP. Um, I wanted in a raffle, essentially. So, now I don't know what to do with it aside from just buy boosters for myself, really. Especially because it's all personal platinum. JC, you get all boosters every month. You actually can't play this game without them. I respect that, dude. I respect that. Come on. Oh, Cryatomic. We'll see you later. Thank you so much for dropping by the stream. It was nice to have you. And we'll talk with you later. I just told you it's personal platinum easy. I couldn't give it to you if I wanted to. Sorry to say. JC, you see like a subscription to get all of the... Uh, you see it like a subscription to get all of the boosters. That's reasonable, I think, personally. I think that makes a lot of sense. 
Why is my health like half of what it should be? And my shields are so low too. That's strange. I wonder if it's like a modifier in the index or something. Oh, having more points to in decreases health and shields? Oh, I didn't know that. Interesting. And Zerel, welcome back to stream. It's been a minute. I hope you've been doing well. You have to pay your 10 taxes. <laughs> Terrible. Dreadful. Dude, why do these traps have so much health? Holy crap. They have more health than the freaking enemies. Oh, Zerel, I hope you're doing well today. And Arcane Bullet, you're back and clean. You want to find out? Exclamation point stinky for me right now. I don't believe you. Zerel, you're getting the EP sleepies, but you're good. Oh man, well, apparently my voice puts people to sleep in a good way. Hopefully a good way. So, you know what I say? Enjoy the relaxation here. How's that sound? Any y'all see the feeds light up? It's going down, kids. All right, where are the enemies? Oh, there's one. Oh, already done. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Gosh dang it. Okay. I wonder if you just stand still. I wonder if that helps you get stuff faster. You're 80 some tasty and only 23 stinky. Today is a good day. Very nice guy. Very nice. I'm impressed personally. You almost said today is a good day. Good gay. Freudian slip much. That's what I'm hearing. Hmm. I mean, I'm a good gay, so that works. That checks out, right? Yippee! You mean you think you're a good gay? Yeah, totally. I would respect- I respect that guy. I agree with you. Well, there we are. Sometimes I honestly don't know if I'm actually bi or if I'm just gay. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you. Like, that question comes up in my mind sometimes, because, like, all of the men that I find pretty are, like, very, very feminine men, you know? I don't know. Universally so. You don't blame me, guys are eh? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Who can say for sure? You're a bear of a man like Fozzie Bear. <laughs> Respect, though. Okay, are they gay or European? Oh my gosh. I love that meme. It's good. Sounds like I have a type of vibe. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, I would describe myself the same way Arcane Bullet as attracted to femininity. Because I'm not especially attracted to masculine women. And I'm definitely not attracted to masculine men. But I am attracted to feminine men and feminine women. I don't know. I just have a type, I guess. Just what it is. Yeah, there are, like, yeah, okay, there's, there's certain exceptions. There's certain exceptions. Like, every so often I meet somebody who's more masculine, and I'm like, ooh, wow, actually I'm really attracted to you. But that's rare for me. That's quite rare for me. You know how it goes. Arcane, you don't know if you're actually attracted to men, though. You don't pull in enough partners to actually attempt that. Hey, me neither, for what it's worth. Me neither. I also live in a really rural area, so I couldn't even try if I wanted to. 
There are often exceptions to the rule. That's very true. This is very, very accurate. Oh, right. Arcane, you also live in a rural uh, area now as well. Mm-hmm. Silent One, good night to you. Work calls you. Good night, Silent One. Thank you so much for dropping by the stream, and you take care of yourself. Have a good one. The only thing you pull are doors, and they're all pushed. <laughs> I respect it. I, uh... Okay, in reality... In reality... I, um... People are actually, like, pretty attracted to me. Like, I pull people pretty easily. When... I pull people pretty easily when there are actually people around to pull. That's that's the catch. That is the catch here. I mean, th there are people I could pull around here if I wanted to. If I wanted to go out and have a night of fun, like I certainly could do that without too much trouble. But I don't like going to bars. And there's no place anywhere where I live to meet people except bars. That's the shame. I just... Here's the thing, I don't even mind bars themselves, but I don't drink. And you may say, well, you don't need to drink to go to a bar, Ilion. Yeah, 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 I've heard it before. I feel awkward if I'm at a bar and I'm not drinking. I feel really awkward. This is what everyone else is doing, you know? That's what everyone else is doing. So I feel like I have to. Your therapist actually told you to do something out of your comfort zone, so you should finish your online dating account. Oh, you totally should, Bullet. You should, you should. And Direwolf, welcome back to stream. I am playing Dagathan Index right now. How's it going? Okay, you're also in a somewhat rural area. I live in a very touristy area. So, um... I live in a very, very touristy uh, area, so there's like a constant churn of people where I live, but they all fucking just go to bars and drink. <laughs> That's it. They're so boring. Sorry, sorry. If you're somebody who goes to bars and drinks and that's your social life, I'm sorry I just called you boring. But it's true. Dire wolf going fine as me. Oh, I'm so glad. Good. Easy, you live on a cow farm. Mm -hmm. That's definitely pretty rural. Well, actually, maybe not. It depends a little bit, but I believe you if you say you're rural. Dude, I'm doing no damage to these guys for some reason. Arcane, yeah, I just like alcohol. There are two reasons I don't drink. Reason number one, my entire family is full of alcoholics. Reason number two. Reason number two. I, uh... Oh. I just don't like alcohol at all. I didn't call anyone boy, okay? I don't think I did, at least. If I did, I'm, I might have misspoken or something. But I don't think I called anyone that. Tay Tay, welcome back to the stream. Just let you go to bars in peace? Absolutely not. KJ, are you really trying to convince me that you go to bars for your social life? You just play TTRPGs and Magic the Gathering. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about, Tay Tay? This fucker. This fucker. Thinks that he can make me think he's cool. I know him too well, though. Toa! Oh my god, it's welcome back to stream. I hope you're doing fantastic, Toa. It's been forever. We are running index. Is it just you or did something about me change? Uh, no. I don't think so. <laughs> or rather, hold on. Let me, let me, let me fix that. Yeah, I'm a changed woman ever since the war. You know, you know how it go you know how it goes. <laughs> no, I have no idea what you're talking about. Nothing about me has changed. <laughs> Nothing about me has changed as far as I'm aware. 
I'm more assertive, more confident, more dominant. Otter, oh my god. <laughs> really? When's the last time you were here on stream? I have gotten more confident. That is actually true. That is actually true. I have gotten a lot more confident in the past few months of streaming. I actually... This is going to be silly. This is going to sound silly. But... You know how I was talking about earlier how my stream is actually a lot smaller than it used to be? I have a theory about that. I think it's because I've gotten more confident. I think that's a part of it. Not all of it, but I think that's a part of it. Um, just because, like, stuff changed in my stream when I got more confident. Um, but I have been getting more confident, dramatically more confident over the course of the year that I've been streaming. And I think that just has, like, turned some people off to my stream that used to be here specifically because they wanted, for lack of a better way of putting it, they wanted the uwu soft girl who was literally scared to talk to people and was streaming anyways because she wanted to get out of her comfort zone. Um, it's just a very different vibe on stream uh, between now and then. And I don't fault anyone for, like wanting something different in a stream and moving on, but I think that that is a part of why my stream has shrunk in the past few months. Um, confidence is hot. Confidence is very hot, okay? There is almost nothing that is hotter to me than a confident woman. I, I used to be too shy to ask for ketchup, and right now I sound like I'm ready to overthrow governments for making my besties sad. Those are such specific... Those are such specific things, and I love that. I don't even like ketchup, but I think you're right. Okay, you wish you could be confident? Hmm, I can train you. How's that sound? Yeah, okay, being kind to service staff is crucial. Slum Cut, welcome back to stream. I hate, I hate so much when people are not kind to service staff. Pisses me off. There is no faster way to make me leave a date with you two than that. Being a decent human being, come on, you're not better than anyone. Hey, Smoke Man, welcome on into stream. My name's Ileana. I'm your cozy vampire, and it is very nice to meet you. Cozy, comfy vampire princess is dead. The feisty, spunky vampire queen is awakened. <laughs> Something like that. May you ask a question? You just did. I'm sorry to say. When? Welcome back to stream. How's it going? And Master Entity, welcome back to stream to you too. You're working on her already. Although if I want to help train the puppy girl, you'll give me the clicker. That sounds great. Yeah, I'll do it. I'm doing great, one. Thank you for asking. Doing wonderful here. Um, Gray, the thing is, you don't enjoy how drunk people act, no matter how much you are yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I'm with you, Gray. I'm with you. There are certain kinds of drunks that are, like, fun to be around, as long as it doesn't go super overboard, and obviously as long as it's not, like, every day. But... I, as a general statement, I do agree with you. As a general statement, I do agree that, um, yeah, it's just like, I don't know, dude. Like, I don't love being a, I don't love being a, uh, around drunk people. Smoke man, a person, wait, hold on. Is it a bad... So you're asking if it's a, if I think it's a bad thing for a person with autism to joke about autism? Uh, no, I don't think so. But I also think that the person who's doing that should still be ready for other people to potentially be offended. Whether that's right or wrong. Whether that's right or wrong. Vesper, welcome back to stream. How's it going? Dude, where are all the enemies? Holy shit. There you are. 
I think that sometimes people like, let me take an example that's closer to home because I'm not autistic. Um, let me take an example that's closer to home for me. I joke all the time about being gay or bi or whatever I am. I don't know if I'm actually attracted to men or not. Um, but I need to be aware of the fact, let's just say queer. I joke all the time about being queer, but I need to be, I need to be prepared for the fact that other people, even other queer people, might not be okay with me joking about some about it, even though I'm queer. So even though I don't think it's a problem for me to joke about being queer, because I am queer myself, I I think that nonetheless, it's important for me to recognize that maybe other people are going to have a different opinion and be ready for that. That's my take. I don't know if it's right or wrong, but. Just like a moth to the flame, distracted the hot people. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I think there's like defense mechanism humor is actually a great way of putting it, Slum Cut. Some people like defense mechanism humor, some people find it offensive, and everything in between. It's just a variety of thought and everything, you know? But no, I personally don't think that it's a problem to joke about something you are. I think you need to be a little bit more cautious when joking about something you aren't, for obvious reasons, but yeah. That's my, that's my take, Smoke Man. Tay Tay, men are overrated. <laughs> okay, whether or not I'm attracted to men, I will agree men are overrated. That's true. Okay, you're back from the loop is telling me in the response of me to not... The response of mine to you're not being confident. Oh, I can definitely help. Oh boy, I'm so glad you said that, okay. The only thing you're not is right for clear reasons. Also, bow down. Thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back to the thing, friends. Um, Mask, you speak for yourself. You're underrated, a real ace in the hole. I'm not saying that all men are overrated. I'm saying that men as a as a concept are overrated. And Dire Wolf, we'll see you later. You take care of yourself, okay? Have a good one. But yeah, you also have to make sure you don't hurt anyone else. Like, for example, um, joking about something that is applicable to you may be more than just a joke, maybe a joke about more than just about what's applicable to you. And you need to be aware of the impact that that might have on other people. For example, I have a friend who jokes about taking her antidepressants. She's like, thinks it's silly. She's clearly a little bit insecure that she takes antidepressants. She jokes about it a lot. And, but she jokes about it in ways that are like, Imagine having to take medication because your brain doesn't work. Like, what a fucking idiot or whatever. And all that jazz. And like, don't get me wrong. Like, I understand coping with the, the discomfort of having to take medication for something like that. But you say that to somebody like me who has to take a lot of medication for stuff that's uh, more serious than depression. And that can make me feel bad. So like... Just a personal example, but sometimes joking about something that is related to you can end up hurting somebody for reasons that you don't expect to. I don't know. But then also a lot of the time when people get offended, smoke man, I think, it's just, oh, Ileana's about to get political. Oh, Ileana's about to get political. It is the conservative liberal uh, stance of uh, needing to be offended on your behalf. For example, if you joke about autism and like some 45 year old white woman is like, you're not autistic or like, I'm not autistic, but I'm offended that you just made a joke about autistic people, even though you are literally autistic. <laughs> that is, uh, that is common. That is common. <laughs> oh, when you give me the mic. Thank you for the mic. 
Thank you for the mic. Yeah, neoliberal hellscape. That's basically what I'm saying. Yeah, don't be offended for people. Don't be offended for people, neoliberals. Come on. Come on. No, it wasn't a hot take, Tay Tay. It's just that any take ends up being a hot take on Twitch, because there's always like that one one person in Twitch chat who gets really offended by anything political. Always. <laughs> Literally always, dude. I don't know why, but they're always there, lurking, waiting. Oh man. Goddamn politics in my video games. You put a gay person in this game? The character's third is the main character's third assistant is black? Get politics out of my games, you woke woke mob. <laughs> Dude, there's always that one guy on Twitch. There literally is always that one guy on Twitch. I mean, don't get me wrong. If somebody, if a character is in a game, for example, or a movie or a book or a whatever the fuck, if a character is in a thing to... Uh... For no other reason than to be a token stereotype, then yeah, that's not great. Don't do that, creators. But the existence of a character who is something other than a straight white man is not woke. Oh yeah, there are absolutely people like that who play Warframe. I mean, it's a game about space murder. Of course, of course, there are people <laughs> like that in Warframe. No, I don't share- I don't share any political hot takes on- on stream, uh, Tay Tay, because then nobody would watch me. <laughs> absolutely. I mean, some people would, but some people would absolutely stop watching me if I really talked politics on stream, I'm gonna be honest. Oh my goodness, one second, I'm gonna meet my mic for a moment. I'm back. Corey, you just got home. She, uh, was actually, uh, not able to get home last night. She had to work overnight and only just got home now. So I'm very glad to see her again. <laughs> I was honestly not sure she was even going to get home tonight. Work has, work was driving her like a dog, uh, the last 24 hours. Oh, <laughs> uh, great. You love my loading email. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Quirky's back. K does K know Quirky? Lupus? I'm not sure. I got hugs. Yeah, I did get a hug. Thank goodness. I'm glad she got home. K does not know Quirky. Gotcha. Corgi is the resident puppy girl of this stream. <laughs> Flames, welcome back. How are you doing, my friend? Nice to see you here. Yeah, no, Corgi is not a literal dog. <laughs> uh, my dog, Vi my actual dog, Violet, is a husky, not a Corgi. Two puppy girls now. Oh god, they're multiplying. Lupus, we need to get another clicker. Oh, come on. Dude, why are you not- why am I doing no damage? I'm gonna try my Natarok here. Ow! What the fuck? That hurt. How are you today? Oh, I'm doing super good. Thank you for the bits, bow down. <laughs> Welcome back. You're too scared to ask what a clicker is. A clicker is literally exactly what it sounds like. Uh... Oh my god, Quirky, thank you for the bits. Um... Uh, a clicker is exactly what it sounds like. It's a little, it's a little device that you press a button and it makes a clicking sound and you use to train dogs. 
<laughs> it's not my birthday, right? You silly bean. So thank you for the fits, you three. You're all ridiculous. Okay, you will happily bark. Good girl. Happy birthday. Corgi, thank you for the tier three. Oh my god, 16 months. Are you insane, Corgi? Thank you. Thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. Alright, so you're just not taking damage apparently. Oh, there we go. Cool. Oh, <laughs> well, there it goes. <laughs> Wait, bow down. Thank you for the gift subs. Oh my goodness. Thank you for the gift. Gray, you're down to hold hands. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. You have a little collar with a heart clasp and cat ears, but no one to use it with. You wear it for yourself. Oh, what a shame. What a shame. I'm sure I could help you out with that, though. Phoenix, congrats on your gifted sub! Ow! Ow! Ow, a thousand! What the hell? Thank you so much for the thousand bits, Lupus. Holy moly. Oh, man. What the fuck? It's already level three. Oh, God. Oh, no, this is dangerous. <laughs> you might actually be into the cat ears. Oh, God. Got a bunch of de degenerates into cat ears here. Corgi, thank you for the gifts, guys. Stop this. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Or... Wait, apparently I'm supposed to be more confident now. Like, apparently I've, I've turned into a confident streamer. Uh, yeah, give me all of the subs and bits. If we get 569 subs tonight, we're gonna do a 12-hour stream. Uh, or something, I don't know. Is that, what is that what I'm supposed to say? I think that's what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> Aw, Tipsy Hog, thank you for the head pads. Rufus, <laughs> thanks for gifting Kaya sub. <laughs> Alright, folks, we got a goal. Oh my god, Gorgi. Ridiculous. Hey, Tay, what are you doing? Stop it. Ow. That was supposed to be anonymous. Nice try, idiot. <laughs> make them cry tears of joy from kindness. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to spin the wheel so many times. God damn it. I'm gonna I owe oh, you all three spins now at this point. There's an enemy. Uh-oh. I forgot what I was playing Warframe for a second. This has turned into a just chatting stream. <laughs> my streams always do eventually turn into just chatting streams, but usually not this quickly. Thank you for the fits, bow down. Full snare, welcome back to stream. How's it going? These things are becoming like impossible for me to kill with my build. I think we need to extract after this. All right. Warframe is also just chatting eventually. Yeah. Here's the secret. Here's the secret, Arcane. I don't know if anybody's noticed by now, but when I pick a game on t to stream on Twitch, I have three criteria. Like, actually, I'm not even joking. I do legitimately have three criteria. First of all, of course, is the game going to be fun? If I'm not going to enjoy the game, I'm not going to stream it. Or if I at least don't think I'll enjoy the game. Number two, is the game over or under saturated on Twitch? If it's got like 80,000 viewers, I'm not going to do well in that category, so I'm not going to stream it. But also if it's got like 80 viewers, there's not enough people in the category, so I'm not going to stream it. And then number three, the actual criteria that I need to consider. Is this game a game that I can just turn into just chatting while pretending that I'm doing something different? <laughs> That's literally all I, all I care about when I'm streaming a game. <laughs> Hollow, you're gonna go farm something else. Thanks for the games. Thank you, Hollow. <laughs> I really appreciate it. You take care of yourself and stay safe out there. 
That was a lot of credits we just got. I can level up some galvanized mutton's. So let's do that. Oh, I'm gonna need Endo too, though. Fuck. I wonder if Archon mods are expensive to level up as well. They probably are. Well, we'll find out. Galvanized Diffusion. Oh, this hurts the wallet. Yeah, that hurts the wallet. Damn. It's the endo that kicks your ass. So much endo. I know. I know. I actually had enough to level both of those, though. Not gonna have... I have 243 endo left. All right. We gotta farm some endo. Um, yeah, we gotta farm... Uh, checks notes, 31,000 endo. <laughs> awesome. Sparkle Wolfie, I hope you have a great time at work. Thank you so much for the uh, well wishes, and we'll see you later. Thank you for the lurk, too. Train leaves the station in one minute, you all. Bullet, you join for endo farming? Please feel free. Out. Tutorial of how to play Warframe Step 1 Get Warframe Step 2 Get a Friend or 3 Step 3 Start Talking About Random Stuff for the Next 18 Hours Yeah, that checks out, bow down. I'm with you. <laughs> Tushin's got 30,000 endo for 150 steel, steel essence this week. Oh, I don't know how much steel essence I have. How do I check? It's probably in my inventory, huh? We'll need to do that then. Um, I only have 83. What's the best way? Thank you for the pits, Tante. <laughs> What's the best way to farm Steel Essence? Um, I'm not actually sure. I mean, it's obviously doing something in Steel Path, but I don't know what. Corgi, we'll invite you in. Steel Path, the survival void fishers. Gotcha. And don't forget to check out the market relics. Oh, right, yeah. You love that they hit my model. I know. I love it, too. I, before I invite anyone, I need to spin the punishment wheel. Thank you so much for the hype train, you guys. That's very kind of you. All right. Punishment wheel spin time. I owe three spins, it looks like. Spin number one with our new punishment wheel as of today. Our shiny new punishment wheel. So help me God. <laughs> I hate myself. Why is this even on the punishment wheel? That deserves to be so much lo less chance. I hate that. I hate that so much. Oh, fuck. All right, spin number two. That was that was a real punishment right there. Uh, soy sauce shot. I'll do that in a second. And then punishment number three is gonna be... Oh, <gasps> you guys got the googly eyes. Oh my god, you finally got the googly eyes. Okay, I'm gonna go grab the soy sauce shot. And when I return, I will turn on the googly eyes for five minutes. One moment. All right, I am back. I am back. If you were Cora, you'd let me put you in the strangle dome. <laughs> Ayo. And Himbo, welcome back to stream. How's it going? All right, I'm going to do the soy sauce shot, and then we're going to turn on googly eyes for the next mission. Get the VTube Studio cat your ass and let, me, let you put them on me. No, I refuse. I think the cat ear asset's actually built in, but I refuse to put it on ever for any reason. All right, soy sauce shot time. 
Mm. Man, that's fucking salty. That's fucking salty. And not the good kind of salty liquid either. I want to do an hour of steel path void survival if I can. All right, it sounds good. But I want not want to be a neon fire. <laughs> Perhaps not. All right, here come the googly eyes. Yeah, you all get to see them for the first time. Hi, they even move. <laughs> I fucking love the googly eyes. I've been so excited. I've been so excited to show you all the googly eyes. It's been, they've been on the punishment wheel for so long and we've never rolled them. <laughs> I've never been more gorgeous to you. How did I get hotter? <laughs> oh man. Alright, so we're going to rotate the lobby here. We got a lot of people that want to play all of a sudden. Um, so Corgi, Bullet, and Ray, I'll get you in first. Anybody who wants to join the lobby, please feel free to just type exclamation point join. I'm just going to... Uh, the point is to make sure that everyone gets a chance to play, not that you only get a chance to play once. Okay. Also, if anybody does want to join Discord at any point, please feel free to type exclamation point join. <laughs> you love the googly eyes, they're the best redeem. They really are. I went back and forth on whether they should be a redeem or a punishment, but I decided to make them a punishment so they show up less often to make them funnier. This is so goofy. You love it. You're so glad you're here. I'm so glad. I'm glad you're here, too. Um, you want to shake me up like a cocktail to see them bob around? Is this supposed to be some sort of euphemism? I'm confused. <laughs> here, I'll shake myself up like a cocktail. Do you guys remember when we had the wiggle redeem? I should actually bring that back. I should bring the wiggle redeem back. It's like I'm staring into your soul. No, euphemism. Euphemism, not euthanasia. <laughs> oh my god. You want to click and drag me around the screen? Here, I'll do it for you. Hold on. Wee. They don't actually move when I drag myself around the screen, but here's my pretty dress. I'm not sure how many of you have actually ever seen it. <laughs> All right, let's get a... Uh... Bullet, can I, uh... can I get your username again? I forget what it is. Same as here. All right, sounds good. Arcane bullet. <laughs> Thank you for the headpots, Joey. <laughs> and Ray, you're just logging in now. Sounds good. Are you ready for Steel Path Survival, Ray? Or should we do something else uh, for the time being? Oh, I don't know what it is because you've never played with me. Gotcha, gotcha. What about the youth in Asia? I care about the youth in Asia. I just don't like the youth in Asia. You know. That is a pretty dress. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and... I don't really have anything building right now, so just waiting for Ray to log in. What is the best Steel Path survival mission to do? For, uh, what is the best Steel Path survival mission for me to do uh, for Steel Essence? And you love that my model isn't just giant gazongas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I'm with you, actually. Oh, there's an Axie Fisher. Oh, shit. Yeah, let's do that. Can somebody post that one who's in the party? How many Axies do I have? I have enough. I've got like 15 or 20 or something. I'm not sure if all of them are good ones, but I have them. Uh, let's just start with the one that's already radiant. May as well. Cool, cool. Yeah, I don't... I don't have anything against some cut. I don't have anything against uh, people whose model... VTubers whose models are just like more tit than face like that's just a choice they can make and that's totally fine but it's not what i wanted you know it's it's really not what i wanted um 
Hey, I'm not that degenerate, Nixie. I haven't even been very degenerate tonight at all. Not at all. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, Riley, you want me to beat you down and you're calling me mommy? Listen, buddy, I cannot solve your mommy issues for you. I will probably just give you more. So try asking your grandma. <laughs> you're just teasing me. I know, I know. <laughs> You think that ASMR is somewhere on the degen scale for normies? You know, that's probably true, actually. Weirdly. You can fix me. No, I'll make you worse. You'll like it, too. I say, with my super sexy googly eyes. <laughs> Daniel, welcome back to stream. Isn't this the best site to return to? Hmm. It's one of our new punishments on the punishment wheel. They have just shut down all systems. I'm sending life support Oh, right. Here we go. Wait, hold on. Arcane, your game crashed. We'll extract after five minutes and get you back in. Actually, can we just get you back in now? Because the... The mission, the objective hasn't been completed yet. I bet we can. Um, let me know when you're back online and I'll try inviting you again. I bet we can get you back in before the five minute mark. The reactant is working on your relic. Find more. Alright, we'll do. Okay, you're so easily flustered. Yeah, I know. I don't, like, I don't know that, but I know that. Does that make sense? You get how you get what I mean. You're back. All right, let me invite you. Oh, actually, you just joined. Perfect. Works for me. Awesome. Let you rejoin. Perfect. Perfect. Hopefully, you're able to get enough reactant. Although it hasn't even been that long. Yeah, it should be fine for you. I am liking that my horse girl is actually killing things in Steel Path. That makes me very, very happy. Ooh, and a Nadaric damage increase. We love to see it. Oh, I'm kind of hurting though. I probably need to back off for a second. Get some health here. There we go. Yippee! Oh, right. The, um, I think there's actually very little, you know, I have, I really have changed so much since a year ago, because I think there's very little, and, and the, the, what Dire Wolf was saying earlier that they think I've gotten more confident is absolutely true, because there's very little that I think is more fun in the world now than flustering my viewers. I'm not even kidding. It's like a favorite pastime of mine. It's so enjoyable. And it's so easy. It's so easy. You guys make it so easy. Gray, this limbo won't stop following you. Oh no. Arcane, you like to think you're not easily flustered? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Whatever you say, well, let's get you to bed, Grandpa. I need an illy googly eyes emote now. Now that you all have loved this so much. <laughs> I need an illy googly eyes emote. Icarus Google. Yeah, I wasn't trying to, I wasn't trying to, Arcane. <laughs> Googly eyes on the wiggle emote, that would be incredible. Gray, honestly, you just have to call you cute and you're blushing. See, like I said, chat makes it so fucking easy. I want sushi. I really want sushi. Why do I want It's because I just had soy sauce. It's because I just took a soy sauce shot, and even though it was disgusting, it made me think that I want sushi. God damn it. I don't have sushi. Life is where meant.
Iliana is a sub magnet. Is that why you're here, Nixie? Oh, it's Malice. Fantastic. Where are you, Malice? There you are. Okay, you're not that much of a sub. Um. Yeah, okay. Uh, sure. If you say so. I don't believe you. Ooh, Steel Essence. Fantastic. So how much was uh, Teshin selling the 30,000 Endo for, I think? Uh, I think it was 150. And Shiko, why does- why do I have giant bug eyes? Uh, because it's a, it's the googly eyes for the punishment wheel. <laughs> They're getting turned off in like 10 seconds though. 150, alright, sounds good. Wait, you want Subway? God damn it, now I want Subway! I- why am I so hungry? Oh. Guys, I forgot to take a dinner break. <laughs> no wonder I'm every piece of food that people are mentioning sounds good. That makes sense now. That makes sense now. Alright, goodbye googly eyes. Until next time. Don't do that. You've been craving Subway. I haven't been to Subway in months, but I kind of want it now. Hey, Corgi, what's the latest food place that's open in our town? Like, what's what time do they close? Like, even if it's just fast food? Grendel Prime, Garuda Prime. Do I have a Gauss Prime anywhere? I don't think I do. Let me search. Gauss? Oh, I do have a Gauss Prime. We will upgrade you to Radiant and... Equip for mission. Perfect. Got it. Oh, thank you, Corgi. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Go get food, my you goober. Eh, you can't make me. You're not my real mom. Nice try, though. Oh, Ray, you mislooked in your normal relic. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Ray. Um... You want to know what you do when you get Subway? You ask for the green peppers, onions, and tomatoes to be put on before it's toasted. I don't see anything wrong with this, except the fact that you're getting tomatoes at all. Tomatoes fucking suck, dude. I hate tomatoes. Number one tomato hater, right here, Ileana Ickersong. Fight me. Yeah, I'm, I'm really not a fan of tomatoes. Um, if it's like tomato sauce like on a pasta or pizza then it's fine but just just straight up fucking raw tomatoes miss me with that shit you know subway is the kind of gross that you crave sometimes same same little caesars is exactly the kind of trash that i crave sometimes when you go to subway have a walking out the door and finding something better oh i'm under no illusions that subway is good subway is fucking terrible but sometimes I want it anyway. Oh, hell yeah, bow down. We hate tomatoes. Good. Good, good, good. You used to not like tomatoes, but you grew into it. Everybody said I would grow into liking alcohol. That hasn't happened. And uh, grapefruit. People told me I would like, grow into liking grapefruit, and it has only gotten more disgusting. Yeah, you don't go to Little Caesars for love, you go for lust, that's true. Little Caesars is like... Ow. For that you can have my last 10 videos. <laughs> Thank you so much, Shinko. Um, Little Caesars is like... What is... How am I going to describe Little Caesars? Little Caesars is that girl at the bar who's only cute because you have like five drinks in you and you know that she has like 17 different STDs but god damn it if it wasn't the best sex of your life anyway in the moment that's what Little Caesars is sounds like a personal experience <laughs> 
Um. No comment. No comment. Alright. Not you heating a frozen pizza from home analogy with that one. Oh my god. Is Little Caesars sponsoring me? That was one hell of an endorsement. Uh, no, but they should be. Little Caesars. Uh, my business email is uh, ikersong at gmail.com. Please feel free to send me any and all sponsorship and contract offers to that uh, location. Thank you. Burden, you've mostly moved away from fast food. Me too. I don't actually eat fast food like at all anymore. Um, although I think I'm going to tonight because I'm hungry as shit. And I want some... I'm like in that state where I want something bad, you know? I want something that'll like make me feel bad. Except I don't want like Wendy's or McDonald's or anything. Like I don't want fries and a shitty chicken sandwich. I want Subway. I legitimately just want Subway, now that we've mentioned it. There is a Subway the next town over. I wonder how when it closes. I've never been. What about Jimmy John's? Ooh, Jimmy John's is good too. Ooh. CK, I knew I liked you. I knew I liked you. I like 12 inches. That's true. I do. The foot long makes it. Makes life worth living. I used to sleep on a couch when I had a queen size bed all the way to my all to myself. Because this is so pathetic, you guys. It was at a very sad and very, very lonely stage in my life. Because and even though I had a queen size bed all to myself, it made me sad that I was alone, so completely alone. And so I slept on a couch right against the back of it. Because then it felt like somebody was cuddling up to me in the middle of the night, and it helped me sleep better. <laughs> That's the kind of girl I used to be. I'm not even joking. We will all share in this bounty. Hold out as long as you can. You have a queen-sized bed. It feels fucking empty. You want me to fill it? Ooh, Baruch Prime. Nice. You take those. There's lore to you sleeping on the floor if you'll type a blog post if it will let you type a blog post in chat yeah hit us i'm curious now corgi that was the last piece you need for baruch prime nice hell yeah i don't think i have any more gauss relics yeah i don't too bad let me stand the blaha oh my god <laughs> i don't have a blaha i do have a shark plushie but it's not a blaha it's a uh, the uh Where'd she go? She's actually usually in my lap when I'm streaming. She's like my stream plushie. God damn, I really am getting more confident. I don't even need to, I don't even need a stream plushie anymore. She oh I remember. She's the FAO Schwartz shark plushie and she's amazing. Her name is Sage. Don't at me. I name my plushies. I uh I've never understood the obsession with Blaha, though, honestly, because I gotta be real, they're kind of, they're kind of shitty. Like, they're not very, I've hugged one at an Ikea before. They're not very nice to hug. They're like a little bit too big, I think. No, I don't want a Blaha. I can't betray Sage like this. And I think Sage is better anyway. Your Blaha is named Rebecca. She's wonderful and an icon for you. Gotcha. As a demographic, people like you adopted the Blaha as an icon for a bit. I, I'm aware of that. I just don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, man. A Blaha Joey is like a very specific shark plushie from, uh, from Ikea. The pointlessness of it reinforces it as a meme. You know what? That's fair. I respect that. Corgi, can you be my stream plushie? Sure, babe. Come here. 
I'll hold you in my lap for all of the stream. You just have to make sure to be quiet and not disturb the uh, viewers. Wait, oh shit, she's actually come- No, do not sit in my lap, you're heavy. Get out of here. <laughs> Leave me. Be gone, thought. Nixie, you used to have, have horrific night terrors, so you would slip into either your parents' room or your brother's room at night and sleep on uh, the floor next to their beds so you weren't alone. They got tired of that, so... Oh, I see. So you made an arrangement in your room where you could sleep on the floor and feel safe. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I used I grew up with like really fucking bad night terrors when I was a kid, too. Um, I would just cry the entire night, like completely involuntarily. Um, until one of my parents would wake up and scream at me uh, for waking them up. And then I would uh, try to stifle my cries actively for the rest of the night and not get any sleep because I was trying to not cry. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> I had a very normal and healthy upbringing. Oh, man, you never had night terrors. Luckily, you were a big girl. I've suffered from nightmares and night terrors for most of my life. Luckily, I'm on, uh... Luckily, I'm, uh... Mostly over that now. I, I, I take medication that helps me not have nightmares a lot. A lot. It's really good. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. I used to be scared to go to sleep because, uh... My nightmares would just be so bad that I would be anxious about... What I would dream about, you know? Awful. Awful, awful. Slumka, you didn't have terrors. You just have some anxiety about sleeping. That's understandable. I get that for sure. I loved that 800,000 hit I just did right there. That, that was sexy. Okay, and the only way you could be quiet, make a you be quiet, is to bind you. I mean, that could be arranged if you're up for it. Are you gonna die? <laughs> there you go. Finally. <laughs> you stomach horror incredibly well nowadays. It's like top three genres for you. Nice, nice. That's cool. I know you, uh... We originally found my channel, Nixie, because you were watching, uh... You were watching, uh... Nalu play Fear and Hunger, and then Nalu raided into me, I believe. Which is pretty fun. Congrats on MR12, Gray. And, uh... Okay, at least buy you dinner. I'm not gonna buy you dinner. You are the dinner. Um, ah, uh, nothing good here. That's okay, though. Um, oh, Joey, thank you for the 30 stream streak. Holy moly. I really appreciate that. I'm actually going to go for the Bursting Prime. I think I need it still, actually. Um, Draugr, welcome back. How are Rattle Plurgy and I doing? We're doing well. Uh, as I've mentioned, we are engaged now. We're very happy. I'm actually got my engagement ring on my finger now. It finally got resized, so... Very happy about that. And, uh, she just got home from a very long day of work. Um, yeah, some could I proposed to her a few weeks ago. You love to see me winning. Aw, thank you. Thank you, thank you. The, um, also Lupus, you were late to stream. Yeah, we did discuss the alien isolation goal earlier. Um, the, uh, I, I ended it and all the channel points got refunded automatically to people because I was overly aggressive in setting the goal and there was a 0% chance it was going to be met no matter how many people showed up. So we, uh, I'll probably bring it back soon with a smaller goal in mind. Or if I do end up doing the subathon, maybe the alien isolation stream will be a subathon goal. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll figure it out. 
For those of you that weren't here earlier, I am considering doing a subathon. Um, because I got some hospital bills, because I was in the ER twice during February. But also, for some reason, it's just been tickling the back of my head. I kind of want to do a subathon. I kind of want to. Um. It's been a while since I've done a subathon that lasted more than 24 hours. And it's, they're just fun, you know? They're just really fun. So it's, it's a thought that's in my brain right now, for sure. Also, Nixie, you've done academic scholarship on a horror film that you've presented at a conference. You've got that kind of passion going on. Nice, nice. That's pretty cool. Oh, the Pathfinder campaign that I'm starting went really, really well. Uh, we uh, we did the one-on-one -on -one sessions for two of my four players so far, and I think they both loved it. I'm really happy about that. I'm really looking forward to running this campaign because I think I got a lot of really good stuff in mind. Ray, welcome back to stream. How are you doing? So nice to see you here again. Hope you're doing well. Oh man. <clears throat> I need to drink some blood. My throat's getting tired. No jokes about that, you degenerates. <clears throat> there we go. Hey, you volunteer? All right. <laughs> Bury your neck for me. There is... Okay. I'm going to be really, really normal for a second. I'm so fucking normal, you guys. Okay? There is no part of a woman that is more attractive than the nape of her neck. I'm fucking normal. Don't at me, okay? It's not true for guys. For guys, I think arms and hands, especially hands, are the most attractive part of a guy. But for a girl, nape of the neck. 110%. 110%. I'm normal. I'm a totally normal vampire. It's normal, it's normal for me because I'm a vampire. But it's true. It's so true. All right. <clears throat> yeah, take notes, chat. Take notes. You will say that you don't think it's the most attractive, but you completely understand the appeal of the nape of the neck. Good, I'm glad. Hashtag nape squad. <laughs> so true. Hashtag nape squad. <laughs> Chat, how do I improve the nape of my neck? Wow, Kay is already barking for me, Lupus. That didn't take long. There we go. And... I mean, I knew it wouldn't take long, but still... Corgi's down. Uh-oh. Bullet's down too. I'm coming. Your taste of a midriff and tummy thing going on. A good tummy is really good. I... I actually have a really good tummy. It's one of the best parts of my body, I think. So you got that going for you. Ooh, Gerda Prime. Nice. <laughs> Slum cut. Your favorite part is when a woman is hot. Yeah, I respect it. I respect it. Ray, I didn't even notice you went down. Sorry, I didn't. There were like three people stacked on top of each other. You wish there were a part of your body you found hot. I used to be the same way. I used to have very, very low self-confidence, just in general, but in my body too. Um, 
And one thing I'll say that helped me is just putting myself out there. It was hard. It was not easy. But putting myself out there and realizing that there are people who find, like, every single part of me attractive. And that doesn't necessarily mean you have to find yourself attractive, but... It helped me get there, if that makes sense. It definitely helped me get there, realizing that other people thought that I was beautiful, too. I sent Corgi a picture of me and myself and Violet earlier today, and I was like, hey, I know I look hideous, but I wanted to send you this picture of us because we miss you. And uh, she was like, no, you're beautiful. And I don't know. I didn't think I looked beautiful today. Um, frankly, today, I do not look beautiful, like straight up. But Corgi thinks I do, and that's nice, you know? That kind of thing is just really nice. Oh, right. How much Shield Essence have we gotten so far? 22 of it. So, I need like 50 more. Oh. No, sorry, that 5 was part of the 22. On the whole, I also think this is going to sound weird, but so many of my mental health issues were solved by simply getting older. And that's not just me being crazy. There's actually a lot of scientific research that sh shows that mental health issues tend to ease with age. Um, the older we get, the more mentally healthy we tend to get too interestingly enough uh so yeah it's worth uh it's worth keeping that in mind if you're young as well it doesn't make it easier in the moment but there is a light at the end of the tunnel vigil welcome back to stream how are you doing so nice to see you here hope you're doing well today but what aren't you the same age as me chat does not know how old i am uh and they will not know how old I am, because that is information that I am not giving out. No doxing. Thanks again for the words of wisdom. You're very welcome. I'm not sure if they're actually so wise, but it's just what has helped me in life, you know? Okay, as someone in your mid-twenties, trauma sucks. Trauma sucks at any age, don't get me wrong. Um, but... You know, still. And there is a light at the end of the tunnel, or at least, even if it's a dim light, it's still there, you know? Right, it makes sense, because your brain is still growing while you're young. Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely true. You aren't wrong about that. Yank. Yank. <laughs> Once you have a frontal lobe, some things are easier to line up. That's absolutely true. <laughs> so, you want to just stop by and say hello and hope that I'm well? Thank you. I'm doing wonderful, and I hope you are too. It's so nice to have you here again. And you take care of yourself wherever you're off to tonight, okay? God, I got a frog in my throat. Frappy's back, you guys. It's been so long since we've seen Frappy. To those of you who uh, know, um, who are new-ish to the channel, uh, to those of you who are new-ish to the channel, Frappy is the frog who lives in my throat and comes out to play sometimes. Chat named him about a year ago. Also, Vigil, how's that gig going? Um, what gig? Um, if you're talking about the daycare job, I actually have left that job. Because uh, I really liked the job itself, but the schedule was ruining my life. Um, if you're talking about a different gig that I'm not sure what you're referring to. Come on. Come on. Die for me. Die for me. Die for me, Moa. There we are. Good boy. Okay. 
These things are getting kind of tanky. Gotta be real. Forma. We'll take the Forma. Uh, the one that I started up recently related to voice acting. Uh, from napkins, maybe? If that's the only one I can think of uh, that you're referring to. But uh, it's going well. It's going very well. Um, all right, here we go. Let's do another. Let's extract to 30 minutes because I don't know if I can actually keep killing stuff for too much longer here. Stuff is, stuff is getting pretty tanky right now. Unfortunately. And we've got a solid amount of steel essence from this, which is good. Pretty solid amount. I need something to pierce shield, is what I'm realizing. I need I don't have like good shield piercing here. What is the element that destroys shield again? I think it's uh or yeah, shield. It's um Is it magnetic? Toxin, it's toxin. Gotcha. Did I arrange getting food? Uh no I didn't. <laughs> I should. I just I want to keep streaming. I'm having fun, Nixie. I'm having fun. Oh, magnetic damages shield, but toxin bypasses. Got it. So we are both right. Cool. Ow. I don't know what elements I have on my Nadarok right now, but whatever it is, it's not working for steel path at all. Video game keeps tummy full. It really does. Plus, like, if I don't eat tonight, then I got an even flatter tummy for, for all of you to kiss after stream. So, just kidding. I don't actually think like that. I don't have an eating disorder. <laughs> um, but... Sometimes I have weird little thoughts like that, but sometimes, uh... that sometimes feel that way. Oh, Vigil, I responded to your email. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll send another response because I didn't... I definitely responded. Maybe it's like in my scent or maybe it went to your spam. Um, but I will definitely... I will send again. I will send the email again, Vigil. I'm sorry if it didn't make it to you. It's easy to slip into unhealthy thoughts of food. It really is. It really is. And while I would never pretend that I have an eating disorder, because I absolutely do not, and I don't want to claim that if it's not something that's true for me, um, I do have weird, unhealthy thoughts about food sometimes. It's just easy to, to let it happen. I think that's just true of women in our society in general. Men, too, to a lesser extent, but especially for women. Ah, it's in your spam. Perfect. <laughs> Sounds good, Vigil. Sorry. <laughs> Good to know that it went to your spam, though. Uh, I will probably start sending those emails directly instead of replying to them, because hopefully that'll help it avoid spam. Draugr, am I being surrogacy or something? Huh? Like, for a kid? No, I'm, I have no plans to be a surrogate mother. <laughs> uh, why? That's a weird question, dude. <laughs> All right. Uh, the pressures of standing up to the beauty standards set by media, I know it's it's tough, Kay. It's really tough. On God. <laughs> it's okay, Draugr. <laughs> All right, sounds good, Vigil. I'm excited. Thank you for reaching out. I'm very excited. Sorry. Um, it was so ironically validating of your identity when a when dudes on a Discord server launched into locker room talk about you. Ew. Oh man. Yeah. Gross. Okay, you just want to be that cute goth, yeah? Oh well, I can arrange for that. All right, let's here. There we go. <laughs> when and where? <laughs> uh, 
I apparently am the cute goth GF. I don't know when that happened, but at some point I just turned goth. Like, that's how everyone sees me now. I never really thought of myself that way, but apparently that's where my style went in the past few years, so here we are. Sometimes it just happens. Yeah, yeah, meet me at the most sh the shadiest and most remote warehouse to be the cute goth GF, exactly. Preferably one next to a swamp or a bog, too. Different style, different version of goth from Lolita to pastel goth. Yeah, I think I accidentally became goth when I discovered how fucking good everything that Killstar has ever made looks on me. Killstar slaps, dude. I mean, this stuff all sucks. I'll take the Cernos Prime, I guess. All right. I think we extract now. Well, we don't have to extract yet. I'm actually still able to kill stuff. It's not scaling up as fast as Circuit does, so... May as well keep going. Masky your horror punk yourself. Nice. I love it. I got these uh, velvet... Actually, you guys gifted them to me on Throne. Thank you again. Uh, these velvet pants from... Uh, God damn it. From Killstar. They are so comfortable. Holy moly. Holy moly moly. Circuit has an insane exponential ramp in terms of difficulty. I've gathered that, yeah. I've definitely gathered that. Oh my god, there are the fuck, dude? There are so many enemies here. Holy crap. I can't even get up without immediately going back down again. Jeez Louise. Um. Ah, I'm dead. Rip. Oh yeah, speaking of the Discord server, uh, in some cuts case, uh, anybody that wants to join Discord is just exclamation point Discord. There you go. All right. And... Okay, all the enemies are finally cleared out. Good, good. From Steel, uh, Steel Path Circuit goes from manageable 200-ish levels to level 1000 plus in like five to six rooms. Yeah, it's because you get the decrees, but it does get pretty unmanageable pretty quickly, I think. For sure. God damn. Okay, we're going to extract after this one because these things are just bullet sponges for me now. I mean, more than they should be, honestly. <laughs> like, Steel Pop is gonna be bullet sponges, of course, but more than more than it's supposed to be, I think. There we are. They start swarming the board after certain points. I'm gathering that Draugr, for sure. For sure, for sure. Hey, Ghostly Ice Latte! Welcome back to stream! How you doing? Nice to see you here again. Boom. 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 Where's he's going name? Name of the game here. And you're here and you're doing fine. You just woke up. <laughs> nice. Nice. Welcome to the waking world. Hope you're doing well today and I hope you slept well too. You didn't realize how well your Nadaruk build does in Steel Path. Mine is doing shit. I need I need your build, right? Actually, if you wouldn't mind. Party, welcome back to stream. How's it going? You're finally getting back into Warframe. Nice. I hope you're enjoying it. It's such a good game, dude. Such a good game. You're finally making Oberon. Nice. I don't have him yet. I want to get to Tanya Prime, though, uh, from the relics that are now back in the shop for Prime Resurgence. Oh, crap. 
You ran into a problem? What's the problem? Thank you, Arcane. I appreciate you. And Corgi. There we are. You don't know how to get more Warframe slots. Uh, I have bad news for you. You buy them. Corgi, you're about to farm Titania Systems if I want to join for that. Yeah, we can... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll do a... Uh... Is that the rare one? We'll farm for Titania Prime after this, for sure. That sounds good to me. And we're gonna rotate in, uh... We're gonna rotate, uh... Arcane Bullet and Astral Ray out for JC Smash and Master Entity. Working through the queue here. You wanna play Bloodborne so bad? Release on PC? They're never going to. Apparently they're finally making a remake now. Which means they are never, ever gonna, ever, they're never gonna make that game for PC. They're making a PS5 remake of Bloodborne now, so PC version is dead in the water. I would imagine, at least. That's what the reports say, at least. I don't know if it's true, but there, there are reports that they're making a PS, a, a PS remaster. Yeah, we'll give you 5-10 minutes, JC. No problem. Take your time. No problem at all. Uh, I guess I'll get the Cobra and Crane Prime. I really need to reinstall, uh... I really need to reinstall what's it called, uh, Aleka Frame. I'm gonna not, uh, select Relic we're gonna extract here. Alright. How much Steel Essence did we earn there? I think about 30, hopefully. I think we got about 30. Alright, let's head to extraction now. Slumcut, you're finishing lab reports. Just this weapon just or er, tab just happens to be open. Oh, let's kill Mania. Before we extract, let's kill Mania for five more steel essence and then we can extract. When you make a cute hunter in Bloodborne and then get her covered in blood and just admire her for a while because it's hot. Agreed. You got me, Nixie. You so got me. Where is this guy? Woman who can kill you are hot as fuck. Oh, now I know why you're here. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, the difference between Hell Helldivers 2 and Bloodborne... Ray, though, is... Bloodborne is like a system seller. Helldivers 2 probably isn't. Alright, cool. Alright, now let's get out of here. Because Bloodborne, they, Sony has used Bloodborne as a, a system seller for a very long time. Very, very long time. You would buy a PS5 for Bloodborne 2 and that console has zero other games. Hey, Final Fantasy 16 was good, although it is coming to PC eventually. Um... But yeah, I mean, it was exclusive for a while, and it was it was pretty good. I haven't finished it yet, but I want to at some point. Are system sellers another term for exclusives? Not really. A system... I mean, they are exclusives, but... A system seller is like a game that they know they're banking on people buying the console for that game, specifically. Does that make sense? And yeah, Sony Bloodborne is a Sony owned IP as well. Oh wow, we got three primary merciless and that's nice. Cool. Oh yeah, no, Slum Cut. It's a very hostile tactic. I don't like it either. I don't like it at all. 
but nothing I can really do about it, unfortunately. Obviously. Yippee, primary merciless. Yeah, this is uh, Ambiguous by Garnadelia, the second kill a kill theme. It's so good. It's so, so, so good. All right, so I'm going to leave squad here. And then we're going to invite in... Uh, battle Corgi again. We're going to invite in Vexed Entity, which is Master Entity, I believe. And then we're just waiting for JC. Uh, we're going to do Titania Prime Farming. Uh, if that's cool with you, JC. Rawr! I'm sorry, I know that was really scary, Hardy. <laughs> And what is your, uh, what is your, uh, in, uh, name again, JC? An arcane, yeah, you can link me your Nautarok build. I'd like to take a look at it at least. Same as Twitch. All right. I don't know why my cat's lock was on right there, but that's okay. Sony can't make any good decisions in Spider-Man movies, let alone video games. True. That's true. All right, so where do we go to buy the Titania relics? Are they Primer Surgeons here? Relics. Yeah, there we go. You might have to crack a few you okay. So we need Titania. Titania systems. How many should we buy? Should we just buy like one at a time? Is that the way to do this? I think that's probably the way to do this, is just buy one at the time, one at a time. Well, I'll, I'll get five. The glory and, wisdom of the seven, yada, yada, yada. and then I also am going to need the other ones as well. But we'll start with the lift. We'll start with the lift, for sure. Yeah, I've never spent Aya before, Arcane. This is the first Prime Resurgence I've ever done. Gara looks sick. Yeah, Gara is cool. Gara is really cool. Let me switch back to my leveling build if all we're doing is a Lith uh, Fisher. Um, Titania. We're going to upgrade this to Radiant. And we can get going. Gray, you personally try five at a time. That makes sense, yeah. That makes a ton of sense. Well, the only choice we have is an exterminate, so here we go. Let's do it. You do 10 of each? That's fair. That's fair. All right, let's see. Are we going to get it on the first try? Let's do a prediction here. Titania Systems first try. Yes, no. You've got two minutes to predict. Go ahead, bet your channel points. They're even more valuable now that we got more channel point redeems. Personally, you try five at a time, especially if you're doing Steel Path Survival. That makes sense. There's no, there's only one Lith Fisher up right now, though, and it's it's just Exterminate. Balthers, it's time to make poor Icker financial decisions. <laughs> hey, choice is yours, of course. Dang, you got a lot of points on this, you guys. And thank you for the build bullet. I'll check this out soon. I'll check this out very, very soon. Um, Farming for Titania, good luck. Thank you, I'm gonna need it. Core game, you need it. All right, let us get it on our first try. Let's do it. Yeah, the choice is yours, of course. Look into my eyes. Let them entrance you. Aren't they beautiful? You know, I think you're beautiful too. People shy. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Good night, Draugr. We'll see you later. You have a good one, okay? Take care of yourself. Look. 
Go over here. And little crossy eyes like an Eve that just struck down two angels at once, <laughs> but with less math mass death. I've actually never seen uh, Evangelion. I've heard bad things about it, actually. Um, have I watched ReZero? Yes. I've actually read ahead in the light novels, too. They're good. Uh, it only gets better, honestly. It's one of the only shonen I like, and especially one of the only isekai I like. But the show, and the novels at least, only keep getting better. Keza, welcome back to stream! Watching Evangelion at 14 did irreversible damage. Oh no! Oh no. There we go. Streamer luck, baby. Fucking streamer luck. <laughs> Yeehaw, motherfuckers. All right. Well, there, uh... There's the Titania Prime Systems blueprint. I guess we go for the other ones now, don't we? Congratulations on those of you who, be who believed. And yeah, Balthros, ReZero is going to have a collab with Butt Game soon. I know, I saw that. It's kind of strange, actually. Very weird choice. All right, so now let's... That's all you needed so you can cycle out now. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, if that's all you needed... I'm not sure we're going to have enough people to do another, because that's the end of the queue right there. So, how do I put this? I'm going to actually make responsible life decisions for once in my fucking life and go eat food. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, 